All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, yes, son. Thank you guys for your patience while I restarted the computer and all of that. It drives me so nuts when that happens because I feel like it's so unprofessional and I'm just like, oh, you guys deserve a consistent straight through live stream. And so I decided, or not I decided, uh, as soon as I went to restart the computer and there, that's when um, Shadow Kevin, real life Shadow Kevin got home. And so I wanted to say hi to him and check in with him since he just got home from work. But we are back with a brand new track. We got everybody in the club going mad. <laughs> We're playing Mariana, Blood and Bubbles. It's the Apparent Heretic plus the um, Blood Initiate. And we also have the Faint Dragonkin rune, which gives us the Bubbles spell that gives us our Blood and Bubbles. We've already collected all the spells, so right now we're going through and collecting weapons for the Apparent Heretic and then armor sets for the Blood Initiate. Uh, we've collected some of them so far, and that, but <laughs> we need to get back into it because <laughs> I got kicked off because the game was like, Bleh. I don't want you to play anymore. Bleh. There we go. That's the kind of screen we want to see. That's the kind of screen we want to say. Bye bye. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fabulous day of March that also happens to be the 20th. <laughs> Channel. <laughs> All you cute, sassy, sassy, molassy people out there. Okay. Press any button. Bam. Oh, that's right. Continue. Let's see where it continued us off at. We should be basically just like right there, you guys. Bicycle. Got Shadow Kevin coming in, immediately dropping off Estes flasks full of yummy, delicious Moscato goodness. I want to say this one's a Moscato. Yeah, it's a Moscato. An Albino Armani. He would probably be like, oh, How dare you say it like that? Because he knows all the perfect pronunciations. Okay. So we were getting the Bloodhound. Oh, that's right. It's gonna be in here. Okay. Oh, I forgot to start the timer again, you guys. Ah! Someone slap me. Someone slap me. Someone slap me. We go to tools, scripts. Start. I am. All right, you guys. Now we officially back into it. Now we officially back into it, you guys. Oh. Someone needs to slap me, like. There's absolutely no reason I should be forgetting that after a hundred hours of freaking <laughs> live stream. We've done like over a hundred hours so far. And freaking no. Oh. <laughs> also a hundred hours of our lantern being on hotkey left. And now I have it on hotkey up and it's throwing me off a little bit. That's okay. So right. Let's do Crimson Rose, baby. I can tell you from keeping foes on the snails. Ooh, ooh, stranger feels yeah. No one, no one a big fan of seal. I am from the sea. Mariana, blood and bubbles. Oh no. Not today, Becky. Not today, slimy Becky. Ah, the snails. Let's give him some bubbles. Give him squeaky clean. Oh, they don't like the bubbles, that's for sure. Oh, that one's got sparkle eyes. See how that one's got sparkle eyes? Oh, they both do. So they should give us some more souls. Around a thousand? Okay, so those are a thousand. These ones are not. There's 1,230. These ones are 246, you guys. So normally 246 souls, but when it gives you that, um, what's it called? When it gives you the golden sparkly eye boost, it gave us 1,000 additional souls, guys. Just making sure. Because there's going to be a baddie. There's going to be a bloodhound. Bloodhound body. Okay, so we found the Volcanist hat, Volcanist robe, Volcanist gloves, and Volcanist boots. 
It'd be kind of cool if this is where the Volcanus character starts. It'd be kind of pretty dope. We found the Depraved Perfumer Caraman Ashes. So those are like different ashes that you can use to summon people. Okay. Feels like there is something else in here that I'm missing. Let's check back in here, guys. Let's check back in here. Got my struggle bus in. Something going on here. Here's with that. If I didn't grab that, that means I haven't been this way. Totally been this way. But wait a minute. I watched them walk through here and it was not like that. It was not like that. Ah, the downstairs. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Again with a bubble. One Briar Rose to take him out, you guys? What? One Briar Rose, one Crimson Rose. What? We got the Bloodhound Claws, you guys. We got the Bloodhound Claws. Let's check it out the list. Bloodhound Claws. Bam, you guys. Bodemus Smorgus. Mm, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching that live Man that crimson rose is kind of kind of nuts you guys Here's the grass I feel like usually there's something on this altar that we're supposed to pick up, but maybe we have to do tan Tanith's quest first Oh, we can open the door We can open the door Okay, I do have the microphone on. Sometimes I forget, you guys. Oh, this is to get to the outside place with the snakes. With the snakes! Can't remember what's up here. Oh, it's just the other side of this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to make a full schmerkle. Full schmerkle. Alright, so we grabbed that weapon. Next weapon on our list. Let's check it out. Because we're a Volcano Manor, so let's see what else we can get while we're here. We might even get an armor set while we're here. Probably not. Parent Heretic. Volcano Manor, we got the Bloodhound Claws. Yes, ma'am. Thorn of the Guilty is going to be at Fort Laid. Housel Invitation. Okay, so we need to do those hits. And there, there. Oh, not Town Church. We want to go back to Tanith. Oh, Tanith. Lady Tanith. The drawing room is the key. Oh, I need to go and grab the first contract. 
So you can say hi to Raya Cute Girl. Oh wait, it's this way. Don't be crazy, you guys, it's this way. There we go. There, buddy. All right. Got our cousin finger and our first letter. And look at her. <laughs> it's Raya Good Girl. I think I automatically just a few minutes ago, if you go back, I like adjusted my posture because I just think about how her posture is always so me when I'm editing. Just like. <laughs> cute Raya Good Girl. And you as well, cute Good Girl. Raya, good girl, best girl. I'm the Lady Tanner's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. May you tread the path of valor to you. And Bernal. Bernal. Okay. We talked to him. Did I already auto do it or we need to check it first? I want to say the first guy is like... Right there. Let's go here. And then we're gonna make a beeline. A beeline to this guy. Is it number two? Yes, buddy. Alright, you guys. Right now, we're currently heading over to... Oh, I already forgot. <laughs> there should be a seed! Nom 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 nom. City Licioso. We're heading over to the Rakuzen guy because we're trying to work our way up through the different hits on the hit list. That way we can get to Juno. And ever. Juno's going to have the pedal lip. He's part of one of these invasions that you have to complete. So we're going to have to do some bad guy stuff and take out our friends. Oh, I love Hoslow's story. The Tale of Juno and Diablos Hazlo. If you guys haven't checked it out, I would definitely recommend it. Just such good lore. <laughs> there are these two brothers in that where it's like, Dialos is the one that you meet and he's always so decorated and all cuted up and looks all handsome and like is all rugged and that but He's more of like the soft-handed never goes into battle and his older brother Juno is the one that is like the decorated war veteran That's actually been into battle so many times And he's always trying to protect his little brother Juno I don't know. It's just like such a beautiful story and the way that it ends. Oh, so good. Check out Miss Chalice. If you guys haven't seen someone named Miss Chalice, check her out. Oh, she does the best dives into the lore of these games and is just exquisite. Hey, on that one. That's right, eat the bubbles. Eat the bubbles. Bubbles to the face, Becky. Oh, did you want to try and drink two of them? Oh, that was slick, my guy. That was, that was slick. That was slick. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. So slick, my guy. So slick. Night, Becky. Okay, so that's one guy. So we need to do him as well as the guy that's kind of like on the way to the perfumed um, shaded castle. And then after that, that should be Juno Hoslow, and that will get us the petal whip. Oh, we got the scaled greaves. Sexy. All right. So now we want to go back to Volcano Manor. 
talk to Lady Tana, tell her what's up, tell her what we've been up to, tell her that we've been taking out our fellow Tarnish like a douchebag. Hey, Tana. Yeah. You will be compensated. You are known as the Queen of Lee. This is a we have no choice but. Blah 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 blah. Then we're gonna rest. Bazumba. You have completed your task. Yeah, baby. I am. This is your reward. Ooh, Taco Bell. It's magma shot, guys. Never forget. That the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted. It is the true path. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're gonna go grab our next one. Which is not that way, it's the way. Wait, did I mess up? Yes. So we have a new letter. That should be the one that's like kind of on our way to the perfumed shaded castle. Not crazy that you have to jump on the table to get up to it. I read there. Closest one is gonna be actually not that. That's gonna be really high up, I bet. Oh, that's so far back. Let's check it. Let's check it. Let's check it. Maybe there's like a like an airstream that can take us down really quick. Oh, me thinks. Me thinks no. Me thinks it's a hard no there, Bobs. Oh, let's check over here. No airstreams? Definitely no airstreams, guys. Okay. Uh, this would probably be closer, actually. Let's go from the castle. Build a mess. Oh, we have to be outside of this to do horse. That's right. Oh, this is outside. This is not side at all. Oh. No hugs. should be like right up in these pillars which kind of makes him a little bit tricky because he really uses the bushes and the rocks and the tightness of this area to like get you and he's also part marksman so you got to be wary of that Hi, Becky. All right, so we got that guy. Shablam. Oh, and we got another enchanted remnant, guys. That's really dope. That kind of stuff is going to be really clutch for when we have... Um, when we need like defense boosts against certain bosses because you can make certain uh talismans that will give you like a like a boost like a boost there guys i'm gonna turn off my little heater definitely getting toasty maybe re reset the sun a little bit we're getting a setting sun over here
All right. So I got the heaters off. It should be not nearly as toasty. And I've got like a blanket on and everything, but I like to be cuddled. I like to be snuggly. I like to be. Oh. So we're tucking in for some Elden Rongs. Okay. Elden Rong. Okay. So we need to talk to Lady Tanis. She's going to give us the serpent bone blade. I am. Who called it, guys? Now, of the true ruler, the herb tree blessed the tarnish with green, but it was all the tarnish was for. Like the shard, our lord is the herb tree. When we are with you, let the volcano. If you follow the lord's visit, you cannot come at. All right. Now go and do our last hit. It's gonna be over here. Whoop. And this one's going to be Juno. This is going to be the one that's going to get us our petal whip. Beautiful, guys. Then he's going to be Rhett Schmear. And we need to get up into this area anyways for later. So let's go to this tree. So in order to get to that tree, find a nearby tree, and then we can teleport over to a tree. Use the tree subway. Ah, the magic pot. Look at it in all of its glory. Touch the pot. We want to go down to, not Consecrate, we want to go to North. North Mountaintops, I believe. I believe. It might be South. <laughs> it might be South, you guys. It might actually be South, now that I think about it. No, we're in the right place. Okay. So let's do this one. Come on, my bro. Oh, that's that, guys. No crimson rose. Always oh, doing that one. Both gonna do that one, and two of them. <gasps> really gonna test my stamina bar, guys. Woo. Can I actually get this going on both of them? Can we do that on both of them? That would be kind of dope.
Let me get some bubbles. Get some bubbles going their way. Oh, good night. Couldn't handle the blood and the bubbles, could ya, Beckys? Could ya not? Eudemus. More just. Guys, we're getting some good souls. Good souls. Alright. So we gotta get our way down there. When you get down there, we need to go this way. I'm gonna head down this way. But we need to get the cave over here as well as go all the way up here. And then we're to get to the garrison. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy, guys. It's gonna be crazy. There's gonna be a path. There we go. Really, I can't summon over grace. <gasps> Unholy torrent. Just keep making our way this way. My eye off of graces. There's the bird eye. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going this way. And then we're going to be taking a ride up here, ladies and gentlemen. one of these guys we don't need to Swing back. I always forget to swing back, guys.
swing it back. I'm so bad at the swing back, guys. Maybe it's dodge to the left over it. Maybe that's the ticket. Maybe that's how we dodge that one. It's the bagels! How's the bagels? towards Juno. Yep. In route to Juno Hoslo. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think Briar's a punishment is going to get them because I think that they're airbound. Oh, they're upstairs. I was like, who is doing that right now? And bubbles. Okay. So we got Juno over here. It's gonna half our flasks. I'm thinking that with him, I kind of want to take Blood Comet off. I'm not a huge fan of the Blood Comet. I feel like it takes a lot to cast, and it's just not, it's not that great. Or at least we're not using it. So it's like, why have something on there that we're not using? And let's switch it up. Switch it up to the elks for something more fun. Let's do this. I love this, you guys. He has literally like one of my favorite armor sets in the entire game. The Carrion Night Sword was the one that I wore through my entire first playthrough, but this is my favorite. And he like comes up and bows to you guys. Look how dope this guy is. We'll also bow. Oh, but he goes in hot. Starts going in hot. Gonna get you with the bubbles, baby. You're gonna die a very soapy, very clean death, baby. You got really good range, too. Oh, well, not that. Crimson Rose is so cool. Oh, and he jumped right through it like the absolute badass that he is. Oh, he is so cool, you guys. I'm sorry, I don't even care that I'm fangirling. He's so cool. Totally worth it. Bubbles. Uh oh, no bubbles. <gasps> so no bubbles. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, now I'm getting panicky when I shouldn't be. Uh oh. Your respite, Becky. Give me your respite. Oh, that wasn't a respite. That was a straight cut with a whip knife. Blogers. Okay. We can get him on this next round. We can get him on this next round. He's so cool. So cool. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. I love him. Oh, Juno, Juno, Juno. Oh, shoot. I got him during mid bow. You 
You dodge straight through the bubbles. He's so deadly with that whip, you guys. Once I want it. <gasps> too much bubbles, you guys. Too much bubbles. You guys, he's gonna catch my butt. I feel it. He's hot pursuing. Night, Becky. Good night. No! We good night. Maybe she came with bubbles for the last one. Oh, cleaned him off with the bubble shot, you guys. Good night, Juno. Good night, sweet, beautiful prince. Oh, I love him. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, buddy. All right, you guys, we got the Hoslow's pedal whip. Your bats. <laughs> so cool, you guys. Go to miss. Smaller, just. Then we also got his fit. His oh, his dude, his helmet is so cool and ever. It's kind of designed like a ram horn, but all of the flowers that are across the horns are supposed to represent every person that he had to kill in the name of the House of Hoslow. Oh, so dope. That's why his has horns with the flowers on it, and uh, what's his face? Juno doesn't have the horns with the flowers on it. A little bit of lore, a little bit of backstory. His armor, oh, so dope, you guys. Kind of want to show you it. Go grab our souls. I can't believe I didn't grab our souls real quick. We would have lost, like, so many souls. <gasps> Bizarre. Traveling maidenhood and traveling maiden clothes. Looks like we're no longer maidenlish. Let me show you guys what the fit looks like. It's pretty cool. I'm trying to find like a good, a good rock. I don't know. It's probably a decent rock. I don't know. It doesn't have great lighting, but that's okay. You guys will be able to see it. I don't know why. Oh, I have the hood, the helmet hidden, so you can't see the helmet. The helmet's like one of the coolest parts, you guys. I'll show you the rest of the fit, though. Bam! So beautiful. So beautiful. Blonde. So beautiful. And then, the boots. Oh, also so beautiful. You guys, right now I have the helmet hidden, and that, just so it's like for aesthetic, that way you guys can always see that it's bubbles. Plus, I usually am not a big fan of the helmets most of the times, unless it's this one. But you guys, let's change back into our regular fit real quick. Which we had on. <gasps> Sanguine Noble? Do we already have the Sanguine Noble clothes? Oh my gosh, you guys, we already have the armor set. We can check that one off of our list, too. Oh my gosh, look at us. Sanguine Noble. That's not the fit, though. Definitely the Heretic's Rags. Well, Heretic's Boots. Heretic's Boots. And then I think we had Fia's Hood on. Because that one does. Increases intelligence and faith by 2 and redu reduces FP cost of sorceries by 2% and increases the damage death sorcery. Oh, let's do instead maybe increases faith arcane by 1. Let's increase it by 2. It's all fire damage. Maybe. Increases arcane by six. That's kind of nuts. Mm, I'm thinking that we should maybe. Oh, you guys check that out. Isn't that so dope? Like I told you, it's like as like. The mask underneath, which I think by itself is just beautiful, and there was just this like porcelain, beautiful looking kind of like oh, so beautiful. But the ram horns, since it's decorated with the flowers, and there each of the flowers are supposed to represent a different person that Juno had to slay in order to not in order to keep the Hoslow name and ever, but just for the sake of the Hoslow family. Oh, so cool. 
it says for the flavor text, his inability to commit action was such that Juno inherited the Hoslow legacy without resistance, granting him to the freedom to shower his little brother with adoration. Oh, it's just so cool. Juno Hoslow had a younger brother who was all talk and no trousers. Remember I told you guys? We should probably put on... This is probably going to be better for us. Okay. Oh, we need to switch our gloves, you guys. I'm oh, crazy. And then... I think that we wanted to do... Just heretics gloves, right? Heretic straps. Yeah, that's what we've been rocking this whole time. Let's do it. Okay. So we've checked off the Hoslo pedal whip. Beautiful. Let's check off also the sanguine armor. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to put check there because then if I try to find it, it'll be there. Which sounds counterproductive, but we didn't collect it just barely. And I don't want to be editing later and then be like, oh, wait. So we grabbed that one. That was part of the volcano one. Let's go back to Tanith. Let's tell her. Let's tell her what's up. And you guys, I'm thinking as a as a little bit of a reward for us, we should fight. We should fight uh, Rikard. Oh, I love Rikard. He's so crazy. He has the craziest voice, like the whole like join the Serpent King as family. So nuts. Oh, another enchanted remnant, you guys. That's awesome. And then the Shining Rune of Magma, if you, I want it, it's not the Volcanist, but I think that there's a certain, I can't remember the exact name of it, but it specifically follows for the Rune of Magma. Shining Rune of Magma, that means it's probably going to be your third highest one. This will be right below the Radiant one. So, cool story, bro, but we're not going to be using that for this run. Might you see our Lord? Yeah, our buddy. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now I will transport you to the Goodbye, Tanith. Goodbye. Farewell, then. May your visit be fruitful. Also, let me know if their dialogue is too quiet. I'm trying to make it so that you can hear their dialogue better. I know I skip a lot of it, but for like cutscenes and that kind of stuff, I really would love for you guys to be able to hear what the characters are actually saying because it's just it's just so awesome. Wait, was there a grace back here? That way we don't have to like yes, okay. That way, if like for some reason, God forbid, we died, we don't have to come all the way back up. Let's use those souls real quick. Actually, let's just add the flask. Yeah. Yeah, I bet we can get him in one try. I'm not even going to spend the souls. I bet we can get him in one try. We'll see what it adds up to. We'll see what it adds up to. <gasps> you guys ready for this? This guy's actually pretty kind of crazy. And the way that the camera zooms out and does like the force perception is kind of crazy. bring out our sister oh look at him it's in there like eye in the butt out of me <gasps> ouch yeah almost got me, Becky. You almost got me. Oh, I asked for that, guys. Straight up. Pimp, if you want me, you can buy me in the club. I'll be on it, on it, on it, on it. I'll be on it, on it, on it, on it. I'll be on that cryptid. I'll be on that cryptid. I get another one of these going on him. Mm-mm. 
ass for that, guys. Straight up ass for that. Not like the bubble, that's good to know. I was dodging like a crazy person. I was not skilled dodging, I was panic dodging. <laughs> For sure. Oh, I asked for it with that, you guys. some bubbles. Let's get the last part of him with some bubbles. Oh, and he slid right into the bubbles. Okay, he's gonna get really crazy mode after this. So we gotta be careful. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so not ready for the spaghetti. Watch this cutscene, it's so awesome, guys. So goofy, like such a cool cutscene, but also so freaking goofy. Did I get him? No. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. For that guy straight up asked for that. Oh, he's going into Super Saiyan mode, guys. for that. Oh. Ooh, but his wall. Oh. You can do the big move. 
Thank God I survived it though. Let's get another Briars of Sin off on this guy. Uh oh. Don't get stuck. Grab me, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. I asked that, guys. Straight up asked for that. Oof. Oh, he's got the skulls coming at me. Your snake head out? You must be high right. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Let's get another one of these guys off on him. Get some more bubble action going here in a second. I didn't, uh oh, uh oh, you guys, that might get me, uh oh. Drink a potion, drink a potion. Oh, nobody, please. Can't we go back to the way things used to be? Before it got all crazy with kids and bills, please. Uh oh, I asked for it, guys. I asked for it. I asked for it, no! Oh, God, look at that. I got too cocky. so close I thought we were gonna one shot him oh okay so we have to remember to get our souls oh no okay so let's see what our remnants are our talismans look like um oh wait right now we got a lot of buffs we don't need bleed buff on right now one second I'm gonna go bathroom real quick sorry you guys I gotta go pee real quick I'll be right back be right back in one second BRB oh. So sorry about that. Literally when we went into phase two, I was thinking, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to like pee so bad. <laughs> and we're gonna start phase two. And I thought we almost got it, you guys. We were so close. We were so close. Okay. Headphones back on. Let's make I wanna make a fire resistance talisman, because I think that'll help. Oh wait, we haven't really been getting like caught by fire a lot, honestly be probably better if we did a physical one maybe let's look we got three of these ones defense physical we already have a fire one so let's do let's try that let's do equipment and 
switch this one out for fire and this one out for a little bit physical and that should give us a little bit a little bit of a buffer oh you guys we were so close we were so close i thought we were gonna get him in one try sister sister come bubbles <clears throat> okay so we want to get strangling briars on him pretty quick and then we probably want to switch just to straight up bubbles Nice, you guys. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, I asked for that guy. He's probably going to kill me with this one. I think it's a one-shotter. Pretty sure it's a one-shotter. Oh, no. No, no, no. Nice. Definitely want to get to the side though. We don't want him to back us up into a corner. Oh, you guys, isn't that crazy? He can literally take those like freaking beams out. He's like, uh uh. Only I can have cool pillars. Uh uh. <laughs> Jelly for the win. Oh, so close, you guys. Good night, Becky. Good night, Becky Swords Rec. Good night. Defeated by Bubbles. Alright, guys. Now, this time, I need to not lose my cool and lose my booty. Okay. There's one right there. There it is. Alright you guys, let's do this, let's do this. Oh, that was like the first one that got me, I'd be so screwed. Oh, you guys, no way, no way, no way. Nice save from the jelly. Nice save from the jelly. Yeah. Let's just get a plethora of bubbles going his way. Oh, they're not reaching him. They're just, just out of range of him. Oh, so that was a waste of magic. Can't get the bubbles close enough to him for some reason this round. What is actually? 
actually happening. Ha <laughs> uh, What? Whoa, buddy. Whoa. I thought I dodged that, you guys. For sure thought I dodged that. I'll bring our sister back out. We got enough health. We got enough health that I can... I can ransom that. Okay, let's get a Briar of Sin back on this bad boy. And then... Let's get closer and get some close bubbles on him. Oh, you jumped out of the range of the bubbles. My guy. My bubbly guy. Okay. See, like, look how much the bubbles do, but they have to be in range. Slam your butt. They're still just out of range, guys. Still just out of range. Let's do that. Oh! I asked for that, guys. Slam your butt. I didn't see a snake form come at me. I didn't see that part. Mm-mm, Bubby. for that guys <gasps> or that oh you guys so close can you imagine if that was what got me I'd be so sad the saddest little boy come on we gotta be able to get with some bubbles This is what's gonna get me. No, I knew it! 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 I knew it. Oh, Lord. Don't get <gasps> Did we get him? It counted! Yo! Sorry, you guys, I didn't mean to yell so loud, but it counted! <laughs> Did you see that? Is it gonna be open? Oh, you guys! <laughs> Look at that! That was so silly. Oh, I don't think we kept our souls, though, from last time. Because <gasps> I didn't go collect them, I don't think. It was about the same amount of souls that we lost anyways. You guys, that was fun. That was silly. Oh, high five. High five. You guys, let's put a little check mark on the list. That way we know that we freaking got... <laughs> What's his face? Let's devour God together. What's his name? Rykard. Rykard the Blasphemous. Oh, you guys, I thought he had me there for a second. I, like, thought, like, he had me there for a second. I was like, uh-oh. But he did. Never mind. He did have me. But we had him. We had him.
Rykar the Blasphemous. Bam! Oh, wait. One more time. Because that's supposed to actually have a check mark. I thought there was a check mark. So we got Rykar the Blasphemous. There we go, you guys. There we go. Bam! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys for watching that live. If you didn't see that live, rewind it back a little bit and check it out. That was really silly and really fun. <laughs> I can't believe we tag teamed him out. Blood and Bubbles. Dude, that bubble spell is a beginner spell. That's an entry level spell. If you start as Underworld Mage, you get that spell in the beginning. <gasps> you guys, and with our weapon that we have right now, the this... The Abherent Tick stack, Staff, this staff isn't even supposed to be used for bubbles. It's actually, like, rated not bad for bubbles, but it's not rated good for bubbles at all. And it was doing that kind of damage against that butt. Oh, you guys. Okay, okay. That was fun. That was dope. We should try and fight this Crucible Knight. He's going to hand my butt to me. Oh, wait, we gotta go talk to Tanith first. Never mind. We gotta go talk to her first. My bad, you guys. My bad. Tanith. Oh, Tanith. Oh, that was fun, you guys. Thank you guys for watching that live. That was really fun. You. Me. It's true. Bubbles. Mariana. You defeated our lord. With soap. No. Dissolvable. You have taught us that. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. is not the end. Our Lord is immortal and will one day rise again. Stronger. Until then, I must stay the path and do my part. Okay, well, Tana, think about it this way. Think about it this way. Um, it's just the dawn of a new era, and our buddy Rykard is rotting in Purell. No, no, there's nothing wrong with that. I will leave the I suggest I will meet these encounters. Me too, baby. Which I always was an admirer. Stop. Did you subscribe? I bet you subscribed. Because you wanted to make sure that we got up to our subscriber goal, huh, Tanith? I bet you did. So cute. With your golden beard. All right. So when we go back to where Rykard was, she'll be, like, trying to, like, literally devour his entire head. <laughs> and... We'll be like, sorry, bud. Knock her out real quick. I want to take out this guy real quick. Like, how quick was that? How quick? I told you guys, just real quick. Just real quick. And then this is what's going to take us over to the fort to get our next weapon to check off of our list. But really quick, let's go back down to Rykard and let's try and fight that Crucible Knight. I want to see if we can do him. Scarred, if you guys are familiar, he's the Sir Gideon swap. He's like a really crazy tanky, extra dexteritous version of the Crucible Knights. And I've gotten pretty decent at fighting him, so it's like, oh, he shouldn't be too hard, but we'll see. Allow me some time. Our lord's carcass is vast and not easily consumed. Yeah, buddy. Here, Rikard. <clears throat> Find purchase within me. I wish to be your servant, your family. One day, let us devour the gods together. Join the servant king as family. Together, we shall devour the very gods. <sighs> Tanith, I'm honestly gonna give you like extra big high fives because there was a giant ass <laughs> spaghetti dragon just a moment ago that was freaking snakes and spaghetti and you're like oh please it takes a moment bitch all you got is head left <laughs> what is this Dogana. high five Tanith high five My Lord. okay because this guy is not gonna be that Oh, there he is. I want to get that started off on him for sure. 
Okay, so Bubbles is okay with him. He has a really far reach, which is crazy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Stuck on the rocks! Whoa! And his persistence is crazy. And he always has that damn shield up. He's got the longest little tentacles from the briar. Look at him. Uh-oh. Whoa. I don't like the rock moves. They usually get stuck in the rock moves. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. For sure! I was like, for sure that rock move, that rock move was gonna get me. Ha! All right, we'll try it again. Oh, that shield, that shield, that shield gets me. But I wonder also if we uh, coat our... Oh, wait. Do we have to summon him? Or is it only that one time? Do you only get one shot with him? Oh, there we go. There we go. I was like, what? Not cool. That's fine. Get that off on him in the beginning. For sure. You cute little spikes. That kind of stuff. That's the stuff I want to exploit. Is when he does those quirky moves. Like that. Oh! <gasps> we just got. <gasps> oh my gosh! Thank you so much for subscribing. It's uh, Thoma. Thoma! Thank you so much for joining the Polite Shade Kingdom. Yay! You guys have got a new subscriber! Woo! Let's take out Tanith's Knight in honor! In honor of our new subscriber! Buddy, you think that you can just, you think that you can just, when we got Thomas, we got Thomas' blessing. Uh-uh, you think you can just? No way. Uh-uh, not today, Mrs. Crucible, not today, no, uh-uh. Woo, where are we going? Oh, Thoma, thank you so much. I don't know if it cut it off and it's like Thomas or whatever, but it says Thoma. So we saying thank you. Welcome subscriber, Thoma. This douchebag is going to eat our bubbles, baby. Thank you so much for joining the Polite Shade Kingdom. It means the absolute world to me to have a brand new member. That win dedicated to our new subscriber, Thoma. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you've been enjoying what you've saw so far. And ever, thank you so much. I appreciate, I appreciate the subscribe. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, this hero's rune. I wish I could just reach out and give it to you because you deserve it. The best kind of Elden Gushers. The ones that give you runes. The ones that give you souls. Good job, Blossom. Thank you, Thoma. Everybody, please welcome to the Polite Shade Kingdom, our brand new subscriber, Thoma. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Especially after that Rykard win. That was so silly. I mean, we did have to do it two times, but like, oh, that tie win, and we get the golden beard. Tanith. Mmm. Thy carcass is vast, Tanith. Maybe set the Snickers down. I'm kidding. I love food, and I love Snickers, and I love me some thick Tanith. <laughs> I love all of our people. I love, honestly, Mariana. She turned out so cute, so perfect. I love that originally she has water powers in the movie that I'm basing her off of. And I love blood and bubbles being her thing just because it's like, oh, it's been so fun. Okay, let's use these souls so we don't lose these souls. Let's put some more into intelligence in that. There we go. And we can get that going up. All right, guys. So let's check our... 
path note. That way we're not getting too lost right now. We're collecting weapons for the Abherit Heretic, and we're collecting the armor sets for the Blood Initiate. Those are two different starting classes for the Convergence mod. So weapons for the Abherit Heretic. We have the Regalia. We have the Marias Executioner Sword. We have Crimson Briar. We have Hoslo. We have Bloodhound Claws. We have Shield of the Guilty, so we need to grab the Staff of the Guilty, and we need to grab Thorn of the Guilty. So to get Thorn of the Guilty, we need to go back up to Volcano Mana. And you guys remember the magic butt? It's up by that pizza cutter guy and that. After we defeat the pizza cutter guy, then all of a sudden it's like, the magic butt opens. Yum. Look at that. As promised, the magic butt. And then this should take us to Fort Laid. And Fort Laid is going to have our next weapon, which the next weapon I want to say was, it was like the Thorn. I think it was Thorn of the Crucible. I think. Let me check. That way we can keep our eye out. But it's probably going to be like whatever's going to be at the end of this. Thorn of the Guilty. Thorn of the Guilty. Okay. Keep your eyes out, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your eyes out. Got Staff of Briar? Isn't that what we have right now? Oh, cool. So if people wanted to grab this and they didn't start off with this play as the Convergence mod, that's what they would do is they'd come up here and grab it. A Giant Flame. Oh, you guys. I feel like this place smells like pages. And I kind of want the pages fit, but I also kind of absolutely hate the pages in this game. Monk's Flame Blade. So that's going to do some black flame damage. Oh, nice. Not so nice. So he's not going to like Frost Bubbles. I think that I want to... Let's get Briar Wrapped Armament. That way we can get our drip on. Get that going. And then we'll get some bubbles. He's going to show off first. Yeah, bro does not like the bubbles. I forget with that hammer, he doesn't have nearly the reach. Oh! <gasps> no! <laughs> Bruh, I didn't realize you could do that. One more round of bubbles, baby. One more round. Not Becky. Not baby. Couldn't handle the blood or the bubbles, the drip and the whip. Dawn, baby. Sparkly, my baby. Bubbles. So perfect. The giant seal. That's something that you'd use for, I want to say it's the fire monk. If you started off for the fire monk build in the convergence mod, I'm pretty sure that that's your upgraded seal. So your upgraded seal would be in Fort Laid. Easiest way to get there is definitely to go to... The volcano manor and then just teleport into it that way you're just up into the back but we're gonna have to explore inside of here and see if we can't find the thorn of the guilty i'm assuming it's gonna be a dagger which i would be kind of down for because i like daggers so this is where we just were i just want to check and make sure that there wasn't any like weird mysterious ladders or like jump down points the magic bullet. Alright, back down. Is it like an end? I think it might actually be an entry through the back kind of thing. I think you have to go around the back of the castle. Get some slow moving bubbles his way. And make him react. Keep him in between the bubbles. Ah! Oh, you snooze, you lose, Becky. You snooze, you lose. Not nah, baby. Okay, I think that it's around the back side. Let's 
Just chucking along this way. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Over there. I was like, wait a minute. I just watched like a video before the live stream just to like make sure so I wasn't getting too lost on you guys. I like to try and like, I don't know, play around and have fun, not be too like cold and cynical and be like, nope, we're going here, here, here. And like, if we want to go and check something out, we can check something out. But I still just want to like, oh, I hate when I've gone to Volcano Manor 8 billion times and then I'll literally forget how to get to Volcano Manor. And I'm like, okay, you son, you know how to get there. Like, you know, you know. All right, you guys. Sugar around the back side. What? <laughs> what? Where? You guys, did you see it? I didn't see it anywhere. I didn't see a chest. Oh, is it, it might actually be among the debris and that kind of stuff. We should check, we should check back outside just to make sure, just to make sure. Okay, so we might have to go and do those torch guys. Oh. <laughs> those guys, if you can get them snack crackle pop from the back, mm. that's the way to do it. That's the way to get those s'mores toasting. Okay, so we're gonna try and crimson rose these bitches, <laughs> but it's probably not gonna work, watch. Baby, I could take you from the keys from the road down the grave. You walked through the blood drops, baby. You were able to get through the rain. Okay. Uh, I think I want to have this probably out. Because it says it's Fort Laid. I don't think that there's any other way we can get into it. Blocked by a that. Uh oh, tree trunk. <laughs> you guys, no, no. <laughs> Let's just talk about it, okay? Let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it, all right? Oh. That's gonna get me. That's what's gonna get me, guys. Just gonna click the base. Stay him, Becky. Stay him. Oh, no, buddy. Oh, you shot your buddy's butt. Bruh. I want to get back to you, Becky. You and I got words. We got words. Oh, no, that's what's gonna get me. Twin Rova Beckys, huh? Nice. Okay, now that we got the one, this will be where we are. Come on, baby. There we go. My goodness, for some reason, I was not lining that shot up on the other guys at all. All right. So now that we got those guys down, let's keep taking a look. Oh, I wonder if it's the monster. 
Because there's going to be a dragon over here. But would that be for that parent heretic? We'll have to check it out. We'll come back in just a second. I want to, like, while these guys are dead, I just want to take a good cursory check and see if it's just laying amongst the trashery. Doesn't look like I don't see anything so far. Oh, good swing, Becky. Good swing. Mm -mm. Fire versus sword. You dead. You dead, Becky. I'm sorry. see any like random you know sometimes there'll be like a smithing stone or there'll be something like that okay. we can sneak up on that guy we can just take him out straight from the butt why is your life already down Becky all right Miyazaki same thing but this time same thing this time Shit, Miyazaki, what did I tell you? What I say? What I say? What I say? Miyazaki, we talked about this, baby. Blood and bubble. Blood and bubble. Ah, you know what it is? Whoa, you got like the, the thramulators. Who gave you the position to be in the three emulator chamber, my guy? Now, nah, Becky. Back to the land of the Beckys. Tell all the other Beckys I said hi. Because I'm starting to get the feeling. I'm starting to get the feeling that it's. Keeping my eye out for any of those like, like little drop beacons. You know what I mean? Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh, you guys, thank you for hanging in there and that ever. Cause this one, I just like looked up like the area how to get here and that ever. Oh, that was really satisfying to find out. Oh, on our own, you guys. Let's check it off of our list real quick. Super big, amazing shout out to our latest subscriber, Soma. Thank you so much for joining the Polite Shade Kingdom. We're so excited to have you. Bop, bop, bop. All right. Thank you, thank you. Thank you again for joining the kingdom. I can't wait to see you in the next stream in that. Oh. If you ever want to check up on the last ones, I do have past streams in the Happily Elden after full playthroughs. But if you want like short versions of my playthroughs where I've like put music to it and it's me like living my fantasy and being like, this is the IZB, IZ Sun playlist in my head whenever I'm like fighting these bosses, go check those videos out. Or if you want some more background lore on the characters that we're playing as, check out my Happily Ever After review. It's like one of the very first videos I ever put on YouTube. But that's what these characters are based off of, like Mariana. All right, let's check off Thorn of the Guilty, you guys. It kind of looks a little sexy, I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. Put another weapon. Bam. Okay. We did it, you guys. Thorn of the Guilty. Bam. I also want to do one of these. Because I'd love to make videos later to show people, like, exactly where to find these things in just some really quick kind of videos. But I need to get in the habit of, like, making sure I'm, like, doing that exact kind of thing so people can see it, like, right then. Okay. <gasps> you guys, let's check out that weapon real quick. Thorn of the Guilty. Oh, it says we can't use it. Why? Dexterity 15. We're not far off from that. Only three away. 
and it's a thrusting sword, you guys. Oh, and it goes from like silver to black to kind of like red. An oversized briar thorn grown from the bloody axe of the guilty, a mysterious accusation of the blood star. Unique skill is telekinetic arrow. What? We're trying that, you guys. Conjure thorny briars around the weapon and then fire a bloody dart towards foes. You guys, what? Let's check it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's kind of cool. It's got a pretty good attack. It's got a pretty good forward. And that's going to have a decent reach in there to be able to kind of keep people at bay or if we want to like kind of keep people out of our vicinity. Oh, we can't do the, the special yet because we have to have three more in fate. Or I apologize. Three more points in our dexterity. But let's check. Let's just... So if we did it, it operates a lot like um, if you pl play the Frost Witch. She starts off with that Ice Needle. I bet you anything it's going to operate just like that. Oh, I'm excited for that. I love those kind of weapons. <gasps> okay. So I think the last one that we need to do is going to be at the Guardian's Garrison. I'm pretty sure. Let me check. So Path of the Weapons for the Apparent Heretic. Regalia of Echoad. Yes. Mariah's Executioner Sword. Yes. Thorn of the Guilty. Yes. Crimson Briar Bow. Yes. Hoslow's Petal Whip. Yes. Blood Hound Claws. Yes. Uh, Shield of the Guilty. Yes. Yeah. We just need to grab Staff of the Guilty, you guys. That's going to be a Guardian's Garrison. That's going to be located up here. Kind of up in this area. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to this Grace. Meander down this way. Kind of hug tight to here. And then we want to curve up right here and go up that way. And it's going to be treacherous, you guys. It's going to be very, very, very treacherous. There's going to be um, not only that fog, <laughs> frost, um, what's it called? The frog frost uh, dragon, but it also has frost lobsters. Frost lobster. Who is in charge, Miyazaki? I don't know whether they need raises or if they need, like, some time off or something, but frost lobsters, they can snipe you from 18 feet away in there and also apply frost. Slow down your stamina, too. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, guys. Now that we're back on track, I got a little bit more to water in my... Let's get over to this grace. No lefts? Let's make a path for your son. Cause your son gets lost <laughs> on a regular. Let's see if we can get a high five on this guy. Oh, I wanted to get a high five as we were running, but we we're out of stamina. Boo! I did it so good earlier, boo! See that sweet, beautiful, sensual Nancy Grace Kelly down there? Oh. Nice. Where's this one? I don't know why I didn't see that one last time. I was trying to keep my eye out for it, but I feel like I didn't see it when we went past. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. Wait, I'm supposed to stay up top. Remember your training, you son. This is why you watched some videos before and you looked up different things on Discord to try and figure out the non-destructed wire. We're gonna get some Dragonite. We're gonna get some Dragon Dragon Rock the Dragon Power over here. Keep your eye out for lobsters, you guys. What is this? What is this? Is this the cave that we we're supposed to go to? Oh, <gasps> Spirit Caller Cave. This is another cave we're supposed to go to. Awesome. Let's grab this grace real quick, you guys, because we're going to be coming back to this one. This is going to be next on our list. 
Kevin would be yelling at me right now because I'm always giving him crap about not putting on the lantern. There I was, just wandering further into the cave. It's trying to swallow me up. Trying to... What? Oh, I thought it blocked me out. Like, I thought, like, it, like, literally, like, locked me out. Uh-oh. We got Sarah Borealis. Head underwater And tell me to breathe easy for a while I'm unusually hard to hold on to oh, I don't like that this makes it really hard to gauge the ground <gasps> I sensed it Becky I sensed it You're supposed to hang to the left Keep hanging to the left ladies and gentlemen even if you see lobsters like that like that you see that bullshit Try and get behind a rock or something quick so we're supposed to be curving like up. Oh shoot. Lies. Lies of Manelli. <gasps> the person I watched totally got sniped. Not to death, but they got sniped. And so I'm just waiting for it. Oh, okay. We made it. We made it. We made it. Okay. Okay, once we can see there's gonna be a little airstream. Perfect, you guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ooh, what was that? Oh, bad dogs! Uh oh, I'm the bad dog. I'm kidding. I'm the bad dog. I'm the bad dog. I'm the bad guy. Uh oh, you guys! No, no, not the dogs. When they get going all pack mode. Oh, <gasps> there are four of them. Just in case, for like, you know, butt insurance protection. Uh-uh, <laughs> not today, Beckys. Mm -mm, did you guys see that? Not a single hit after I got my shit together. <laughs> I think I did get hit by him, but I got my shit together. I held my own. I didn't wuss out. I made it. Uh-oh. Just one dog, though. Nope. Bubbles. Come to the bubbles, baby. <laughs> Until dawn, ladies and gentlemen. Until dawn. What's other soap? They got, like, Fabuloso. What else they got? They got Dawn. They got Purel. Purel? What is it? I don't know. So that led. Oh no, we are taking this jet stream up there. That's right, that's right, that's right. I remember, guys. I remember. Then we got an ever gel right here, which I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to try. I want to see if there's a stake of Makira. Just in case, because I don't know what's in here. We should probably grab a grace or something. That way we don't have to make that long jaunt again. Let's go find Grace Kelly real quick. Can we come back up from this? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, that should be the fort way up yonder. Is there Grace? No, it's one of those. Is that Grace up there? Oh, dogs. Yeah, it's a Grace. Okay. Wait, this might actually be the fort, you guys. It'll tell us. It'll be the Guardian's Garrison. That's what we're currently looking for. Ooh, starting to get toasty. Take off my blanket. Okay. So we got that Grace. Kind of want to go back to that Evergel and see what that's about. Real quick. I think it's basically in front of me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. All the little T-Rex dogs. They're like nightmare fuel. I feel like they kind of remind me of like, I don't know if you guys remember um, An American Tale with uh, Fievel. And how at the end they build that crazy uh, 
contraption that looks like a giant mouse and has all the electricity that shoots out of it, but it made looks like it's made out of like obscura, crazy mysterioso nonsense. It's oh, it's so cool. It's so awesome. I love it. All right, all right. Bubbles, blood and bubbles. Oh, it's a Scythe. Oh, no, it's Vike. Even worse. This guy's actually pretty crazy. Do not let him freaking connect with you. Lightning or nothing. Oh, my long ass nails. Oh, my long ass nails. Like, we'll press, like, the menu button. Oh, both of those connected, you guys. Both of those connected. Come on, dude. Oh, buddy. that you guys he's gonna get me uh oh no 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 he's not I lied I lied he's not gonna get me I lied I lied he's not gonna get me he's not gonna get me he only thinks he's gonna get me for that you guys I asked for that literally just left myself open for him oh he is such a tough customer he's so cool though yeah let's take a mark here let's try it again you guys never hurts teaches us how to be better how to dodge different moves okay so he was definitely I don't think he was responding nearly as much to the uh what was it the briars of punishment that one long range kind of blood spell. I don't think he was responding nearly to that. Did we grab our souls? Where are they? Behind us. Oh, they're there. That worm was trying to steal him. All right. Let's do it again. But this time, I think we're going to bring out our sister. I'm the blood. She the bubbles. <laughs> The bubbles, baby. The bubbles, baby. All right, bubbles. We got this. This douche romancer. See how vicious? Vicious. Vicious. Like, we're literally, like, ah, no! <laughs> wow! Okay, let's, okay, okay, okay. I want to try out, um, let's try out, uh, Flo. Flo was the one after we had to get, um, what was it, the Bloodhound Claws off of our checklist. She was the summons, the Ash that we got. I want to try her out. That could be really fun. Because we've been playing with Bubbles for a little bit. We know how Bubbles is, our sister Bubbles. Let's try out. Let's try out freaking flow. You guys, why not? He's still gonna like eat butt, you guys. That Reich, I wanna say it's Bike, V-Y-K-E. Oh, so cool. He's probably gonna eat up a lot of our health though. This is a good chunk of it, so we can definitely get one shot from now on. Hi, baby. Flo, baby. Not two of them. Oh, nice. Woo 
Oh, he's gonna grab me, he's gonna grab me, he's gonna grab me! Did you see him, like, totally run around, Flo? <laughs> Bam! Eat dick, buddy! Okay, so now I remember why we have that move on there. Uh oh. Bring out flow, bring out flow, go with the flow. Slow the flow, save H2. Whoa! Whoa! Alright. <laughs> so I see you're a water conservationist. Definitely want to save that flow, buddy. <laughs> Look at him. Run to the left. Cause he does curve it. Oh, <gasps> he has another health, bruh. Okay, he probably only has one. That's probably his last health flask. But you can tell he's getting pissed. He's getting pissed, guys. Oh, <gasps> he did two of them in a row. That's how pissed. See how he's just literally melting through these guys? Get ready to bring Flo back out, guys. <laughs> no. Nobody. Get him, Flo, get him. Oh, you guys, what? No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, bruh. Oh, bruh. Oh, bruh. Oh, bruh. Oh, bruh. No. <gasps> My nails! Bring out some flow real quick. Yeah, buddies. We're back in the flow of things. Oh, and he's out of health, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope I don't get one shot, as Basie. Blow it up, blow it up. I got that flow to rising. I got that flow to riding. I got that flow, flow, flow to riding. Run, baby. I feel like my B button been kind of acting up, guys. Like it's been like unusually sticky or it feels not not sticky sorry that implies that like it feels like it's not coming back up it feels like when I press it it's not responding like I'm like waiting way too long to actually start running again come on tickle my butt tickle my butt oh no he got my butt what get him boy get him get him <laughs> crap okay we got him Last time, you guys. Last time. We got it this time. We got it. So definitely Blood Comet for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Oh. What? <laughs> Ridiculous. Sorry, just making sure my one thing's up and going. That way I can make sure everything stays updated and rocking and rolling. All right. Let's do it again, you guys. Let's do it again. That was close. That was that was so close. That was our closest one by far. By far. <laughs> oh. Little butt crack. A little butt crack. We got it this time. We got it this time. Flow has been kind of like. I've been going. I've been going with the flow. It does like take down my health a big chunk and that or whatever. But I don't know. It probably makes it a more fair fight for Rikard. So I'm, I'm down. I'm down for whatever. Let's get that going off like a mighty at life. Okay, so we got that on him. Perfection. Oh, 
stamina, you guys. Uh oh, I asked for this. I asked for this. <laughs> Too slow. Oh, we drink a potion. Okay. Freaking sitting there, dope as all get out. Uh oh. Get him, flow. Get him. Get him. Oh, swinging a miss, Becky's. Swinging a miss. All across the boards. Oh, he's just so cool. He's got me, he's got me, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead! Damn it! I'm so sorry for yelling, guys. I'm just being cocky and I'm being dumb. <sighs> oh, we can take down a giant gooey serpenty snake, but a dude with some lightning, he's gonna eat my bazooty. Okay. We got this, guys, we got this. Oh! I gotta keep remembering to do that Briars of, or what was it? Yeah, Briars of Sin, right? I need to take off all those extra spells that I'm not using when I do this. Strangling Briars, cause that's gonna do some background bleed. This guy ain't no joke. If we do, Runark in there, but that's only gonna give us like a touch more health. Yeah, like Petunia Smoldering. But we'll see. We'll see. Nice. That in the biz is what we call luck, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get hit. Don't get hit! Damn it, you son, you know better. Oh, nice save, baby. Nice save. Oh, that's why I love you, honey. That's why I love you, Flo. All right, let's get some string on the briars back on. Swing and a miss, lady. Swing and a miss, love. Out of health flasks, baby. Oh, you should have bought them at Costco in the bulk pack, baby. Should have bought them in the bulk pack at Costco, honey. Don't eat my booty. <laughs> I know you're scoping my booty out, but don't eat my booty, baby. <clears throat> He's 
it. I want that booty. Give me some of that bubble booty. Greed. Greed is what will get me, you guys. Trying to do that like so quick, that's gonna be the greed that's gonna get me. Get him! <laughs> get him, Flo, get him! One more time, time. Is it time to celebrate? Ready or not, my kid's gonna die, we're gonna celebrate. Oh yeah, alright. High five, baby, one more time. Love you, baby. High five. Kisses and hugs, baby. Flo, welcome to the family, baby. Shining rune of lightning, fingerprint helm, fingerprint armor, fingerprint gloves, and I'm assuming the fingerprint boots. So with the shining rune of lightning, that's not the dragon cultist, I don't believe. Let me check. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, dragon cultist. And that, but this would be their glowing rune of lightning. I want to say that's the second level spells for these guys. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Guys, we got him. Okay. So now we got that guy. We want to head up to what I believe to be Fort Garrison. But I do need to use the restroom really, really, really quick, you guys. I'm going to give you guys a little BRB screen, and I will be back in just a second. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, you guys. Thank you guys so much for all of your patience and your kindness, letting me go and facilitate the facilitrix. I don't think that's the kind of live stream you guys are tuning in for, <laughs> so I appreciate you guys letting me alleviate myself so I don't humiliate myself on live. <gasps> Our light turned off. Have you guys ever noticed that? There's supposed to be um, a big light going on in the background. I don't know how long. See? Blah, blah, blah. This is what it's supposed to look like in the background. Right now I'm doing the red and blue to be kind of like bubbles where it's like the blood and bubbles like Mariana. But if you guys ever see the light off, let me know. And if you guys ever see the timer right over here, if that's not going, let me know because I forget that sometimes. I have like a, over 100 hours of live streaming now and I still forget stuff like that. I'm crazy. But I'm learning. I'm trying to stay consistent. I'm trying to get some good practice in. That way it's like we can be ready for the new DLC that comes out. I've heard that it's about 
sleep and about St. Trina, you guys. I'm really excited. I'm really curious about that because I love sleep. If you haven't checked it out, I did a build for the sleep class Mystics in the Convergence mod. Look up in my videos. It's going to be for Moonbeam. Oh, you guys, especially like the Moonbeam versus Deep Root Depths. I love that video. I love, love, love that video so much. And it just gives you guys an idea of like sleep powers and vapor wave, like dream vapor, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to make a path for your son so he don't get lost. Well, that's a good amount of souls too, you guys. Bye, Becky. Catch. Is it just you? I thought I heard the balloons kick off, like how they drop like the guys from above. Okay, that's just that. That's not what we want to go to. It's definitely that building back there. Oh, into my bum? You got my bum and my calf? These are not the leg warmers that you showed me in that Timu advertisement. I want to speak to your manager. Oh, you think you can be crazy? Oh, yeah, you can be crazy. I get it. You're the crazy one. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, right off the edge. We got more flasks out of it. Awesome. Hi, right, Becky. So that's going to be the Mirage place. So it's definitely going to be this building back here. I'd want to say. That's at least what it was showing. Show you, my Layton. Like this building right here. If this is the right place, it was showing me that you have to go around the side to get in. Yeah, this feels right. This feels right. This looks like this looks like what I was looking up, guys. Yeah. All right. We on our way. We on our way, you guys. We on our way. Oh, that's right. It kicks you off the horse. It makes you really have to test your, like... Yeah, buddy! You guys, I saw the person that was doing this do this, like, three times in the video where they were demonstrating it, and I'm sorry, I just gave myself the biggest pat, 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 but we did that in the first try. We crossed that path in the first try. And we got our stuff of the guilty. The last weapon on our abherent path note. Path note for the Abherent is completely done, you guys. Let's mark it up. Make it filthy in this chat. Let's mark it up, you guys. So we got Staff of the Guilty, which I think is going to be an upgraded version of our current staff that we use for most of our magic, which I'm really excited about. That's going to be exciting. So Staff of the Guilty. Staff of the Guilty. Put a little sword. And then we're going to do some fireworks, you guys. All weapons. Whoops. <laughs> weapons. Found. Here, let me do it like this. That way it doesn't look like I'm, like, bent down. And then you guys can, like, actually see what I'm doing. All weapons found. Bazamba. Then we're going to do some more fireworks, because the inherent heretic has been completed. I want to be cat. Old man, your son over here. Watch out, guys. There we go. Parent heretic. Bazam, boom, boom. Parent heretic. Path note complete. You 
guys, I am so crazy. Like, you guys are probably, like, literally just, like, growing beards and, like, just literally hearing all these crickets and whatever. You guys are so sweet for, like, letting me update the chat. It really helps me when I'm editing later, and then I can add chapters on the live stream. That way, you guys, if you ever want to check it out later, you can be like, oh, I want to see specifically when he gets this weapon or this rune or fights this boss. It's like, that way I can, like, do it. So I really appreciate you guys being so kind and so courteous and letting me do it. Adherent Heretic Path Note Complete. Bam, you guys. Boom. All right, so let's get, let's check out this staff real quick, but let's also get that little dog's booty in the background, that little rotty booty. And let's start doing the armor sets for the Blood Initiate, that second class that we're doing for our Blood and Bubble Run. Staff of the Guilty and mm, some Golden Gushers, you guys. Bet it tastes like honey, and I bet it tastes like lilac and lavender. Maybe, maybe it tastes like lemon. I don't know. I don't know. Let's check out the staff real quick, you guys. Oh, awesome. So yeah, it is our next level up in that or whatever. Awesome, you guys. Awesome. Does it look cool? Because this one kind of looks kind of cool. Let's see. Let's see. Have it in the staff hand. We are not even using that right now. Let's get that out of there. Bam. guys oh no it looks just as cool i thought literally i thought it was gonna be exactly the same you guys okay 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 we should definitely go and get that scaled up and ever at master hughes so we got that guy we've completed that path note so we need to start doing the blood initiate but first let's go back to let's go to master hughes real quick you guys master hughes is the door still not open? Oh, it's open! We can actually get the briar set and say that, like... Oh! I have to skip past it, you guys. I might not even be able to wear my headphones. I don't want to hate on this lady, but honestly, like... She gives you a sacred tear, that's nice. But it just sounds like a bad Eartha Kit impersonation. Like, you know Yzma from, like, Emperor's New Guru? That's Eartha Kit. And that just sounds like a really bad Eartha Kit impersonation. Okay, now let's see if we can buy. Not Raycard or his stuff. Briar armor. Okay, perfect, you guys. This is the stuff we need to complete our one path note armor. Briar armor, briar leggings, briar gauntlets. Beautiful. Then we'll have some heavier stuff later down. Increases faith, arcane, and vigor and endurance by two. Eh. And super. Bulky as hell, guys. It's bulky, bulky. Bulky as hell. Mort. Mort. Mog's robe. Super bulky. Go for us. Oh. It's like, I don't know. God bless when people can do, like, the Stitch voice from Lilo and Stitch really good. God bless. I think it's a skill on its own to be able to do that kind of stuff, but it literally makes my skin crawl. Like, it, like, gives me fight or flight, and I've got to choose one or the other, and I really don't want to fight you. <laughs> So I'm going to run away. <laughs> uh, strength and armament. This one. So we got takes somber stones. So does that one. So does this one. Everything takes somber stones, you guys. Rough. We might have to actually go to like. Maybe like all the way up here, though. And that is a hot hop, skip, and a jump away just to grab some somber stones. Go and talk to what's her face really quick. The corn husk babies, the little Timu corn husk babies. See if they've got any somber stones for sale. Cause I don't know if we got that bell bearing. We've gotten it in a few of the playthroughs, but I don't know if we've gotten it in this playthrough yet. Offer somber stone. Let's grab six of those and how many do we have? We have four. Let's grab just like four more of that. Okay. Now let's go back because we should be able to level up our new uh, 
thorn of the guilty which that one's really cool looking i love the fact that it's like just a giant ass thorn <laughs> it's really sweet but also i want to level up our new staff you guys it should give us better scaling for our um adherent heretic sorceries staff the guilty one two three four five six and then one we're gonna definitely use it on that for sure over the other one colossal colossal okay and our other one's maxed out so we only have one colossal somber stone this one's at 257 scaling right now versus our current weapon or our current staff is 234 so it already does better scaling i'm just wondering if this should be the one that we max out or if we should max out like something else because we primarily use our staff but i do love using like our other weapons as well Surprised that we can't level up that one already. Oh, Colossal just gets it to plus eight. Interesting, interesting. Definitely get that one as far as it can go. The Colossal, I think for right now, you guys, for right now, I think I'm going to use it on our new staff. I think so. Okay. So we got this sword and this staff, you guys. Rodrika. So we can definitely level up our sister, which we want to do, because I love having the jellyfish. I think it's like the perfect cute little pairing for freaking Mariana for the blood and bubbles. Okay, let's look at our path note real quick. So whenever you guys hear me saying path note, it's what these notes are. Whenever you start the convergence mod, it will give you a class specific path note. So the path of the Abherent Heretic, we've collected all of the runes. That's the first paragraph. That's what all the spells are. So you'll have like an um, apprentice to master spells. Then the next set is going to be for the armor sets. Albrich's set, we can't get yet because it's past a boss. And so I don't want to do the bosses till we're doing the boss run. Just to keep it all in the same video. Bloodhound Knight set is in Glenmere's Heroes Cave. We already have that set. Briar set, we just barely bought that from. What's her face? So this one's all basically done except for after we defeat M Knight Captain Seeger. Like where Gold Shade Chad would be. Gold Shade Godfrey. Once you defeat him and you can go upstairs, then you can get that set. So I'm waiting until we do our boss run. For the weapons, we've gotten... We've gotten. We've collected all those ones, so it's completely done. Path note, we're looking for the armor. House of Mariah set, we have that one. Check, check, we already have that on our chat note list. Sanguine Nobles set, we have that one. <gasps> we need to go to the Spirit Caller Cave, guys. We're going to go to the Spirit Caller Cave. Okay, I'm excited about this one. It's going to be a cry today. I think we're going to have to do Godskin Duo, you guys. It's going to be crazy. I think the Godskin Duo is going to be the bad guys at the end of it. So I did. Oh, so excited that I drank that flask instead of doing my damn lantern. Oh, but we can do that. Oh, that's right. Bad Eartha kit impersonation gave us a sacred tear so we can increase the amount of our flasks used. Oh, let's also take off. What am I doing? We're not fighting what's his face anymore. Let's take off that physical protection and that. Let's put immunity to bleed and frostbite back on, and let's do the gold charm. I love having the gold scarab on. That way you can just get more souls. Get more runes, more souls. Look how beautiful. Okay. Refill. Then we're going to hit. Oh, we should change out that spell real quick to you guys. I know I'm so crazy. I'm so crazy. But... We were wanting to change out blood combat. I was kind of liking it. But if we switch to that, what would we switch it for? Mm, blood star? No. We could actually do that with the other one. Desecration and worship blood star bolstering. That one's actually a pretty quick cast off. I, I kind of like our setup. I like our setup, you guys. Never mind. Never mind. We're going back at it. 
Ah, oh, get with the flask! <laughs> you guys, I have literally spent so many hours in there with my lantern on hotkey left, but it's on hotkey up, and I keep forgetting. Oh, and I left the cave. You guys, I'm literally certifiably crazy, and I appreciate you <laughs> hanging in there with me as I get my happily ever after <laughs> wild bug out of my butt crack. I just love that movie so much. I loved it so much that I decided to take all the characters and turn them into their own Elden Lords, Snow White, and the Seven Dwarf Fells. The Seven Dwarf Fells are the female cousins of the dwarves. Each of them have different powers that were given to them by Mother Nature. In order to help Mother Nature out with like, you know. Oh, good night, sacred wolfies. Good night, wolfies. So, uh, Mariana was given the power over all the lakes, streams, rivers, all of the water. And all the world and all that stuff. And so, what I'm trying to do with my little happily elven after run... Is kind of give some backstory to like, okay, well, how did they get these powers? Why did she choose them? Well, it's because they all fought through the lands between. Let me switch back to this one. They all fought through the lands between and became their own Elden Lords. And that's how they proved themselves to Mother Nature. So she would initially give them their powers. I hear something big. Gotta find the snail. Whoa, so many wolfies. There's one. Oh, we found the white reed stuff, you guys. We got our last armor set. I didn't even see that guy. <gasps> I bet you anything he had bleed, he was gonna come after our butt so hard, you guys. Mm mm. Not today. Not while we're on butt guard duty. Oh, I love that there's wind down here, you guys. We're in a cave and there's freaking wind. And it was for the white reed set character. And there, and he has that kind of samurai, kind of like oriental kind of vibe to it. This game, you guys, if you haven't played this game, please do yourself a favor. Play this game. If you want to have a really easy time, do, like, uh, bleed. Do, um, glintstone magic. Do fire. That kind of stuff is really, really, really easy for this game. Um, but please, do yourself a favor and just give it a shot. This game is just exquisite. Oh, I gotta update the chat. Oh, we got... We got Connor Most in the chat. Hey, welcome, Connor. Welcome, welcome to the chat. I got two I'ms from you in that read. You seem like you were I'm times two. The i meest. Or I probably actually said something grammatically incorrect, and you're correcting me, which I appreciate, and I appreciate, because I can be a grammatically insane person. <laughs> All you guys, white, read, We'll do a little parenthesis for armor. Boom. Boom. You guys. Let's check it. Let's check our path note, you guys. Inventorix. So we have the white reed set, sanguine set, house Mariah set. We have all the runes. So that path note, done. The next one we'd have to do is the blood initiate. There's the Reduvia. That's the one that's down in, um, what's it called? That one I'm pretty sure we can get real quick. That one's going to be right like up in here-ish. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. It's going to be right up in here. We need to get down to this area. Go there. Yeah, sorry, guys. The... I think I used to monitor the chat. I didn't see, I didn't see that you had posted in there twice, uh, Connor. Most in there, but I apologize. I apologize. I didn't see your awesome chat. Your I am times two. Oh. You're late. A little late to the 
party, Becky. Let's go to this one. This one's gonna be above ground. Limgrave. I always spell it with an E, like Limegrave. Make a path for you, son. There might even be a dragon in the middle. We could probably fight this dragon. That ice dragon? No, Chao Chihuahua. That one or the rot dragon? I don't know if you guys have ever fought like that rot dragon in uh, Kaled. Oh, that guy. Absolute booger monster. Oh, we got the Nakiba. <laughs> Nagakiba? Oh, I thought this was going to be a merchant. My bad. Maybe that's where Shibiri and there, bro. What's his face is at one point? I have a very nice. Let me touch. Let me let me just do a little bit of tag, buddy. A little bit of tag. Come on. Don't scream your gross breath in my face, buddy. Dragon burnt runes. <gasps> a dog. Mm -mm. Where's your other one? Where's your friend? I hear you. Mm -mm. Not today, Becky. Not today. I see you trying to poke me with that fire, Becky. Ow, see? Paul gets it. Paul knows how. There we go. Jump right into it, baby. Okay. I just want to see if there's anything good down here real quick. Just while we're in the area. Ugh, rats. I hate when they get that really quick bite in. Oh, like that one. The one on the right got the quick bite. Where it's like it almost kind of feels like the game like cheats a bite in real quick. Test lands. All right, we are definitely not going to get distracted by that magic butt. I don't know where that magic butt goes, but I am not getting distracted. <laughs> no way. A little rat? Swing and misses, Becky. There we go. Oh, you going to get me again with your fire, buddy? Oh, high fiver. High fiver. You guys are whispering some weird ass shit. We got the thing that was down there, right? I forgot what was down there. You guys, what was down there? I can't remember. I'm crazy. I already forgot. Did we even open the door? Did I just kill the rats and then come upstairs? Oh, it was a magic butt. <gasps> I'm always so tempted. Where does it go? The pole is too strong, you guys. It was making me forget. We're gonna fight whatever dragon's in the middle of this. Dragon fight will get me straight. That'll get my brain straight. Dragon. I wanna do some strangling briars. They'll probably do some briars of punishment and probably some bubbles. It's a good mix. Come forth. Oath slaying dragon. He's like, I'll take out these bitches with a bat. I take them out with a bat. It's getting day. You see these shackles dragon, I'm insane. I'll let you whip me if I miss the hay. It's just that no dragon makes me feel this way. Talk to my girl. You wanna run towards them even though it seems like you don't wanna? I know, I know. Have him jump towards him. Oh no, I hit when he does the side one! Woo! You thought you got me, Becky. You thought. You thought. Oh, out of the range? Come at me. Big jumps, big jumps, baby. Big jumps, big jumps. Big jumps, baby. Nice, nice. Big jumps, baby. You're doing good. You're doing so good, Becky. 
Let's get another one of these guys going on, yeah. Okay, then we're gonna run. Jump. Oh, I meant to jump through it, guys. That was my bad. Big bites, big bites, big bites. Crimson Rose equipped, that's right. Jump, run towards him, run towards him. No, it doesn't seem like you want to, but you want to. Baby. Good night, Becky. Good night, baby. Nice. 6,000 souls and a dragon heart. I'm back in bed. We're going back in bed, you guys. All right, so the Reduvia, I'm pretty sure, is what you get from defeating this bloody finger over here. I say as I run, not over here. <laughs> it should be over this way, guys. And the Reduvia, as I say it probably incorrect every time, is that one short kind of serrated, almost like onyx black stone looking blade that casts blood. And that everyone uses FP to cast like those little blood pools that will like cause bleed damage to people they're pretty dope they're pretty dope i say they it's pretty dope um i honestly like this is my first time that i've done bleed and probably like i think i played a little bit with the eleanora pole blades and that kind of stuff uh back in the day like a little bit and um what's it called played a little bit with the eleanora pole blade I think that one's way more fun than the Rivers of Blood. I think it's just so pretty and so cool. Kind of want to bring out Alcista. Oh, he freaking swarmalated it. What? He is like, uh-uh. I give exactly zero Fs about that jerryfish. <laughs> He's like, bruh, I got I got hard block on, baby. Oh. Oh, that stuff. That bleed stuff. Ooh, buddy. Jelly can't even like touch him. I wonder if we're going to have to do, like, Crimson Rose or something weird like that. <gasps> Didn't even touch him. Okay, guys, we might be going bubbles. We might be going bubbles. Get him. Get him, Jelly. Get him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jump. Okay. Just need to get a little bit of... You douche! I wanted to have like a fun little fight, but you're just sitting there throwing your stinky little butt around. <laughs> nah, dog. Yes, Rudiva. Okay, I'll show you guys. We just really got it. So we got bop, bop. I'm actually gonna pull it up so I can spell it right. Where are you, Becky? There it is. Rudivia. Dagger slash and pierce, baby. R E D U V E A or V I A. R E D U V I A. V I A. Beautiful guys, beautiful. Bam, you guys. This honestly is like pretty dope weapon, and ever it's pretty quick. Let me even show you guys. That way, I'm not just telling you guys. That way, I can show you guys. Yeah, look at it. It's like all serrated and looks like all black and onyx and gray and kind of stony and like and you can totally just like throw pools of blood at people and just like elicit some serious bleed action on their booties okay so we grabbed that one let's look at our list stay on track uh surgeon's cat linger is the second church of marica and altus if i remember correctly that church is Here? Yep. Second Church of Marica. So we might even have it. 
equipment. I may have already collected it. And it was called, what? It was called the War Surgeon's Cat, or it was like Surgeon Catlinger. Mantis Blade. Oh, the Hosla Whip. We need to get our stats up for that. Dexterity needs to be up for 20. It's like 8 points in that bad boy, but I love that one. I want to use that one for sure. I don't see it. I don't see it, so we should probably go back there and check. Alright. And I think the quickest way is going to be... still going to be this way. I'm pretty sure, guys. I'm pretty sure. Turn on our lantern, because this place is scary as shit. Okay, and then we should have, like, an airstream down yonder. Oh, the blue! It's like Halo meets um, Fern Gully in my brain every time. I don't know why. It's very, like, Halo ethereal vertical beam straight up in the air and that kind of stuff. But then, like, I feel it's also, like, let it grow. Or not let it grow, help it grow. I love Burnt Goalie. And Tim Curry as Hexus, are you kidding me? Okay. We won't actually stay down there. You're it. Oh, I missed. I suck, guys. I suck at drive by high five. High five. He was sitting, that's not fair. There's another thing to high five, but it's not the airstream I'm looking for. I really probably should have done this in the daytime. There it is. Bazonka. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Do we want to keep? Do we want to go? Oh, I hear you. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Is this it? You guys! <laughs> the surgeon's catlinger. Some type of dagger. Let's look at it. Yeah, buddies. Surgeon's catlinger causes blood loss buildup. Ooh, that's our world, guys. Once a medical tool as a part of a surgeon's field kit now used in sacrifices to the great Mogwin dynasty. This weapon increases the damage of blood flame incantations by 10%. That's a dope weapon. That means if you have that as like your sword in your other hand and your spell casters in your left hand, it's going to increase that 10% just by having it equipped. <gasps> but we're not using blood flame incantations right now. We are using um, primarily apparent heretic incantations. So I'd love if we had one that boosted that for us. That'd be freaking dope. Oh, it's sick though. Okay, let's check that off the list. So we got, it was the Surgeon's Cat Linger. That's such an interesting name. I've never heard of a cat linger. Surgeon's Cat Linger. Take out the space, even though I know you want to make it two, because that sounds so crazy, right? Then we'll do a little weapon next to it. I am you guys. Do need to get the charger going for my phone though, because there's Dan. There we go. Bam, you guys. We got it. All right, next one on the list, you guys. Let's keep knocking them out, baby. Let's knock them out. All right. So we've got Bloody Hellas, Writhe Blood Ruins. I feel like we were there. Ride Blood Ruins is going to be over here in Kaled. I want to say it's going to be somewhere between here, between these two. So 
let's try going over there. So let's go to this tree. So we'll teleport to this tree and then we'll teleport to the other tree. By way of the magic tree butt. And we'll be able to take out that one guy there real quick too. So we need to be on West Caleb. Perfect, you guys. Perfect. Excelente, you guys. Excelente. Oh, yeah. Gonna break me off a little bit of that tree booty up there. Mm. Oh, deep bow bow. Deep bow bow. Mmm, daddy. Let's actually get, um, I'm gonna get Briars of Sin put on our stuff real quick. Oh, the rot bum, and it goes so far, you guys. The rot, way too far on that. Way too far on that. Oh, I asked for that, you guys. I, like, knew he was going to do that third attack, and I was just like, could you please? Oh, he's going to do that, Bogus. Let's let our stamina build up. And then pick a direction. Oh, almost got caught by his dirty dishes, you guys. Clean up your mess, Becky. Those dishes, so nasty. You don't even clean up before you have a lady over. Gross. You nasty, Becky. <gasps> he did not like that comment. He summoned two of them, you guys. Two of his little dish cleany bullshits. Oh no! Too close to the rot, see? It's reach is like way, way, way too far. Uh oh. Oh, saved by the rock. It's kind of like saved by the bell, but tree version. You and your stompy little cute foot. No. Night, Becky. One more rot bomb. One more stinky rot bomb. Yeah. Stink it, buddy. Stink it up. So stinky. High five. Oh, sorry, Becky. Good night. Good night, Becky. Good night. Good night, Becky. Couldn't handle the drip of the blood and the bubbles. Guys. <laughs> They'll get the blood just like on her face. She's like, yeah, I bubbles. Do you bubbles? He, she, we bubble. Okay. Let's grab this grace really quick, and then we're going to head over. Head over to that area. Make your son a path. And that way I don't get lost. <laughs> Cause I get a tendency to do so. What? Yeah, we definitely want that. Yes. Oh, it's a bunch of T-Rex dogs. I don't like the T-Rex dogs. They actually kind of like give me like, <laughs> not nightmare fuel vibes, but it's something like that. It's something like that. <sighs> well, even then, why are they even guarding over there? Oh, and a bird? <gasps> no way. Dude, the birds suck almost as much as the dogs. Okay. So this is that like fortress that they built here they added for the convergence mod out of everything that they built it's the most basic square thing it's really weird it's like just a giant square everything else i've experienced that from the current <clears throat> my apologies convergence mod so far just feels really curated it feels like really well put together imaginative fun kind of stuff but this place is it's literally just a square oh what was that just a regular smith and stone. 
get behind some of this stuff so it'll catch on it. Don't want that to touch out, but no way. Grace, ladies and gentlemen. Double check. Let me head back up. Recalculating. Because I'm pretty sure that's going to be like a drop down by some dogs. It's like a drop down by these little dogs. And there's going to be another version abductor by the roots. Mm -mm. I haven't stared him down like, uh-uh. Yep, this is the spot, you guys. I'm pretty sure this is the spot. There should be some roots right over here. Yeah, buddies. Okay, so I just have to be careful getting over to there. Okay, we did it. <clears throat> and so right now we have the stalwart charm. That's going to help us with, um, what's it called? Anti-bleed, but we're going to want to switch to the immunizing horn charm. I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Let's double check. Because I may have already crafted one. That'll make this place way better. We didn't even have a, another freaking one of those on. I'm crazy. Can you believe frostbite? Yeah, we're going to have to craft one real quick. Crafted. This one. Immunizing Horn Charm. Grants immunity to poison and rot. That's going to make down here way better. That way, instead of literally just going through all this rot and bull crap and poison, we can just walk through it. And it won't be nearly as bad. I'm pretty sure we want to go this way. Probably should have her lantern on. We'll still take physical damage from stuff, but we won't take um, poison buildup and scar uh, scarlet rot buildup. Perfect. There we go, guys. Okay. And there should be some guys down there. Maybe bubbles? Nice! Just want to see if there's any other guys there. A serpent bow, so that does poison. That's pretty dope. And there's going to be a bunch of guys in here. Maybe it's just rats. All right, Becky. Mm -mm. Not today, Disco Becky. What the fuck is that? I'm kidding. It's just a flower, guys. It's just a flower. I do want to take out those guys. Because that is going to be a problem. Oh, see what I mean? Problem. Can't believe I was going to waste the magic on you guys. Shit. Something right there. Oh, just some poison bloom? Okay. Back up, ladies and gentlemen. Back up. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I want to say that it's probably going to be 
if I had to guess, it's probably going to be the rotten Crystallian people, if I had to guess. So I'm probably going to want Poise Breaker 5000 there. Oh, it's just the clean rock guy. He's like, I don't like the bubbles. Oh, I meant to dodge that guy's totally. Nice. Good job, Flo. Nice, Flo. High five, baby. High five. High five. Nice, baby. Good job. And we got another Enchanted Remnant, you guys. So we basically got to exchange our last one for this one. Oh, Seal of Rot. This is going to be your, in, uh, what was it, your upgraded uh, seal that uses to uh, cast uh, Rot spells. So if you start off as the Servant of Rot character, like our last one, Blossom, that is... Wait, do we get what we needed, though? Got the Enchanted Remnant. I don't think that's what we needed all the way. I don't think that's what we needed. Let's not go back to Entrance yet. We needed to grab... It was a weapon. The Bloody Hylus. I want to say it's a... It sounds like it's going to be a mace. <gasps> and a magic butt, you guys. What? Where's the magic butt go? <gasps> I'm getting so tempted across the boards. We definitely need to check around, though. We already have so many of the bad guys taken out. It's like it would be just like a bloody, bubbly shame. See that? That looks like some shit. That little, that little, that little dot over that looks like some shit. Can we bleed you? Do you bleed? No, it doesn't look like you bleed very much. But you probably bubbles. I bet my right barbels. Oh yeah, you guys, look at that. What? So, can we just climb up it? Oh yeah, you guys. Please be it. The Venomous Fang. Guys, am I even in the right cave? I'm in the abandoned cave, that's why. Oh, you guys, I'm crazy. That's why. Writhe Blood Caves. Let me look it up real quick on. This is a magic telephonics. <laughs> Writhe Blood Cave Elden Ring. I looked up all the stuff for, like, a parent heretic and tried to do some research in that, but I didn't quite get to doing the blood initiates weapons to kind of, like, preemptively look and see where everything is, at least get an idea of where to go. So this one, I feel like I've been to the Ride Blood Ruins before. Ride Blood? Try Ride, baby. Try Ride. There we go. Ride the Blood Ruins. Those are gonna be... Oh, it says it's up by that second church of Makira. I think it says that it should be like... Kind of basically right there. Can't believe that I didn't grab a grace there though. Let's just go to the Saint Hero's Grave and start there. Hi baby. Hi baby. How's it going? It's going. Getting most of the weapons. We have everything on the Abherent Heretic for like the runes, armors, and weapons. We have all of the runes for the Blood Initiate. All of the armors, I'm pretty sure now. Yeah. Yeah, right? All the armors, and now we're doing like the weapons. Fun. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. I think actually, guys, I might take like just a quick little break in there. We're just eat some food in that real quick. Um, I'm going to give you a B right back screen. It'll probably be about like 10 minutes or so in there or so. Give me about 10 minutes, but thank you guys so much for watching and staying tuned so far. I appreciate you guys. Also, super big shout out to our latest subscriber at Thoma. It's like T-H-O-M-A. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining the Polite Shade Kingdom, and I will see you guys here in about like 10 minutes, okay? Give me 10 minutes. Love you guys. And then, uh, be over screen.
All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for waiting for me. Thank you, thank you so much for your kindness and your patience so that I could check in with the cute real-life Prince Kevin, our real-life Shadow Kevin, and also eat a sandwich real quick. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, your son. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. We're doing Mariana Blood and Bubbles. We're currently trying to get all of the weapons that are on the Blood Initiate path note. So let's go back into it and see where we are at. I want to say we were in a cave. Oh yeah, we were in the Sainted Heroes cave. We're trying to get to the Glenmere one. The Glenmere cave. What? It was saying that the Glenmere cave was like up here somewhere. We came here for a reason though. <coughs> we we're supposed to go to that church for some reason let's go check it out i'll look at our path note as this is coming down to catch myself back up make sure i can be right and proper for you guys okay so we got writhe blood ruins that's right that's right that's right, that's right. So it's going to be ruins and it's going to have those little sanguine guys that have like the bleedy bony things. <clears throat> Ooh, <laughs> check it out in the freezer section. Tyson's new bleedy bony things. Oh, <clears throat> oh make sure our lantern's on. <laughs> Gotta make sure I'm not getting too crazy because it is a little bit later here and I don't want to be waking anybody up. So I might be bringing the microphone in a little bit closer and kind of talking a little bit more quiet with you guys for the next little bit of the stream. Okay, so we need to get to the church and then get to the Rithe Blood Ruins. There's not a church. Can I church? Do I, do I know how to church? There we go. Behind? Okay, I wonder if there's gonna be. Oh, that's way too high for there to be like a an airstream. <laughs> oh no, no no no. <laughs> there's a way. Did we ever grab all these? We did not. Rad blood ruins, guys. That's what we're trying to get to. Rad blood. Is there not one on this one? Guess not. You never know, you guys. Do that thing that helps get us to that next level. All right. Back to the church. Do another dot. <laughs> oh, it is this way. I'm sorry, little ram. Your cute little lightning butt. Wait, was that airstream? I thought I was seeing airstreams for a second, you guys. <laughs> Apologize. So I see some ground over here that we could probably. Maybe not, you guys. Maybe not this way. It says, like, right there. Maybe we need to go up one more and then we can... No, that doesn't seem right. It looks like they meet, like, two little booties. Yes or no? Instead, I'm going to look up the Rise of Blood Runes. Oh, sorry, guys. Didn't mean to scratch you with my noggin. I'm going to look up the Rise of Blood Runes again one more time just to make sure. One more time. One more time, you guys. One more time. 
just so I'm not taking us the craziest way. Writhe, blood, ruins. Man, you guys, the way I mumble mouth it, it literally says ride blood ruins every time. And I'm like, it's not that time of the month, you guys. Come on. Ride blood ruins. Okay. So it's on that. Next one up from. Yeah, it's straight across. It's saying that it's up here. Ish. Either that or it's like going to be right in the crack of it. Oh wait, no, it's the ruin, so it's going to be this up here. Bam! Okay, guys, I'm crazy. Let's go to here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. I'm so crazy, you guys. I do my best to keep myself on track. But sometimes I get crazy. We're going to collect all of our blue dots. That way your son can get his poop back in a group. That's the way. Straight off the cliff. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, it's because we're on torrent. Altus Plitter. Plitter. Oh, it's a bunch of the sheeps. They're so cute. So these runes, I'm mean, bet it's gonna be like a bunch of those guys that have like the high soul, like kind of like almost like looks like fish spine bone blade kind of thing, and does a lot of blade. Which speaking of, what do we have equipped right now as far as amulets? Poison we're at one. No, let's go back to bleed, because we cause a lot of bleed on ourselves with our spells. So it's kind of nice to have like a bleed buffer on yourself just to age the pine booger so i am the booger see if he likes the frost he does not like the bubbles you guys he does not like bubbles not a fan let's see if we can it like hits him We got some of them. Ow! With your pokey little... Oh, your poop poker? No way! Bruh! Wash those hands. Oh, wait, the booger died? The booger died? Oh, you guys. Anticlimactic. Uh oh. I got buzzes going on my phone. Oh, it was just one of those. Okay, never mind. Never mind, you guys. False alarm. False alarm. We good. We good. We good. I also think this phone died. Yes, buddy. Yes, sir. So I'll have to keep my eye on this one for chat. Hopefully it stays active. One of my phones isn't good for that. All right. Let's see if this is it. Because I wonder if there's like a secret. Because we would have already like activated it with the blood if it was right there. So it's probably going to be like a secret under Croft over here. But keep your eyes up for those one guys that appear out of the freaking ground. Oh, are dogs? Dog? Dog! Yeah, definitely Crimson Rose on these boogers. It takes them out quicker. Bye, Bugger Felicia's. Bye. Okay, we found you guys. <gasps> a dog. Oh, I asked for that one. I'm usually pretty good at dodging that. I've gotten a lot better at the dogs, but... I missed that little booger. That little bug free. Bodemus? Don't see any pages. I like that. <gasps> it says that we already got it. Bloody Hylus. I feel like it's a mace. 
If it was something we had, right? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, we totally have it. Okay, 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 okay. So that one, we'll recheck off the list. <laughs> Bloody. Hey, lice. Right? Yeah. Awesome. That way your son knows. Even realize that we already had that one. Damn. Bloody highlights. Put a little weapon, a little, a little shorty, 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 short, short. All right, perfect. Okay. Bodemus, Smorgus. Okay, let's check what's next on our list, game. Let's check what's next on our list. Morgoth's Curse Sword. After defeating Morgoth, that one will have to put on hold until the boss run. Eleanor's Pole Blade. I love Eleanor's Pole Blade. Violet Bloody Finger Invasion. I want to say that's going to be up in the Consecrated Snowfields. I'll look it up. But I'm pretty sure it's either going to be in the lower section or it's going to be in that this section. But I'll look it up real quick, you guys. Eleanora Location Elden Ring. Second Church of Martyrs. What? Of the Shaded Castle side of Grace. Wait. The Second Church southeast of the Shaded Castle. Okay. But that's like where we were. See, I didn't look up any of this list, you guys, never. It's like the past one I looked up never because I thought we were only going to do those ones for this stream. But I kind of wanted to like keep going and do a little bit more. But this is why research pays off. <laughs> And so it says the second church of Makira is right there. Is it sure? We need to check like my chest and that kind of stuff or whatever. But the grace chest and see if like maybe I already have it just in case. Because I thought we had a ton on this list that we still needed to grab. Let's look and see. Pretty sure we don't have pole blades. Let's look out here. Alright. Chest. I'm just not used to going in here. Switch to chest. Bloodhound's Fangs. Razor. <clears throat> yeah, it says we don't have it yet. So let's make our way to church. You guys, there is a force at play here that really, really, really wants me to go to this church. Like with every fiber of its being, it wants me to go to this church. Am I mixing up my dots? No. Okay. You sound as crazy. Hi, shapey shapes. Oh, Skyrim, come on. <gasps> Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Almost lost my cool. Is it really not going to let me jump down that way? It's got to let me jump down that way. Come on. Yeah. Okay. A jump. Okay. Let's just use it to... Oh. I thought it was going to be like a jump down. Okay. So it's saying Eleonora should be popping up here somewhere. So if she popped up here, I feel like we defeated her. Why do I feel like we don't have her weapon for some reason, though? I checked our chest. Oh, yep, here it goes. Here it goes. Eleonora is pretty crazy, guys. Where are you? I know you start outside somewhere. And the dogs... Where are you? There you are, Becky. Oh, no. 
Nell Becky. Uh oh. Got some dogs. No. Oh, I thought you were going to try and like rot spray me. I was trying to take out the dog with that one, not just like her. Let's switch back to bubbles. Let my stamina build back up. So I want to keep her in my six always. Oh, because of that, because of the fire. Uh oh, I'm gonna get stuck in a tree. No! 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 Whoa! 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 Everybody! Everybody in the club! Evacuate the dance floor! Oh crap! Damn it! Oh, and I gotta remember, I gotta be quiet. Ah, I forget that it's so late. Ah, I just get so excited when I play the game. Ah. Okay, last side of Grace. Or Stick of Makira. Oh, those guys. Those, all those dogs. I knew as soon as we got there, I should have taken the dogs out first. Let's do exactly that. Take out those charming little Beckys real quick. Oh. If it wasn't for those little dogs, I'm pretty sure we'd have got a first try, you guys. I would have I would have been certain that we already defeated her. Hey, where's the other dog? I don't want no dogs. Douche. Okay. Nah, come at me. Eleanor! I summon thee! Okay, we got that on her. That's good. Build a wall of bubbles. Wall of bubbles she'll take. She'll never make it through. <laughs> you got scrubbed out, Becky. You got scrubbed out. Yeah, guys, the Eleonora's pole blade. We did it, you guys. We did it. Second try. You guys, I was just being silly. I feel like I was being such a dinkus the first time around. Okay, bubbles. Bubbles for the fucking win, you guys. If you guys haven't tried blood and bubbles yet, do yourself a favor. Make a build blood and bubbles. It's so fun. All right, so we got Eleonora's pole blade. Eleonora. I think that's right. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, there's an R right there. Pull blade. Why is it not doing space? There we go. You guys, I'm so sorry. This is probably like the craziest part of me playing is like me typing this in. And then we'll do a little weapon charm. Bam. You guys. I love the pole blade. It's probably like one of my favorite weapons on here. Just in the sense of like, it's like art style and that or whatever. I haven't used it in so long because like bleed I did on like one of my very, very, very first characters. I did like a bleed run. Oh, bleed is crazy. Bleed is overpowered. It's fun to play it again. It's been so long. Okay. So next one is going to be Mogwin Sensor. It's Vari's quest. Then we have Mogwin Sacred Spear purchased after defeating Mog. So we can go and buy that one right now. The Sword of Milos on the corpse of the Dung Eater. I think that we can go and summon him already. We'll go and try that. And then Vara's Bouquet. Okay. So we should go down to Mogwin's area and also Sword of Milos. Okay. Because okay. what's his face is usually down in, I think it's this one. I think he's over in this area. One of these two areas. But we'll also check on this side. That's usually where the dung eater is, if his power are if, if his little summon sign is over there. We should probably also use our souls to level up. 
we should start putting those into dexterity so we can start using some more of those weapons also. Let's see. So with it, we just go like right here first, I'm pretty sure. And that should give us like a little walk down. Let me know if you guys, if I need to change the volume in that. I usually have the music on the game turned down a little bit quieter or a lot quieter. That way when I go to edit later and if I want to add music, I'm not trying to like take out the music but lose all of the sound effects because I love like when you can hear like the spells go off or when you can hear me get hit by someone and I'm like, Bleh! it's like I would love for you guys to be able to hear the game or hear the dialogue, but trying to edit the music out usually takes those kind of environmental sounds out. And so I don't like it. It's right there, guys. I'm being crazy. Dead. Oh, I thought I was going to be dead for sure. But yeah, right now I'm trying to talk a little bit quieter because it is nighttime. And so I'm trying to remember that people are sleeping. I wonder if we can get this thing pretty easy with, uh, what's it called? Where'd it go? Oh, can it run to the other side? That's probably what it did. I thought I was going to get it. So there's a jump up there. I feel like this feels like where the dung eater would be. But I don't know if we have to do like a bunch of his quest and that kind of stuff to like get him to pop up. Because that means we'd have to go down to the sewers to find him. Down at Altus. And that's definitely a hop, skip, and a jump down. So let's go check the other side. Oh, and there's also like those true tree sentinels over here that we could try and take out also. Like a second ago, I was like, am I being too loud? No, I don't think you are. I can't hear you. I love you. Love you, B. The real life Shadow Kevin. The most perfectest, most beautifulest, most gorgeous boy in the entire world. And he's all mine. He's all mine. My little happily ever after in real life. Oh, he's the reason I get to do what I do. No. Not okay. This is not where I wanted to go. But let's just go back this way anyways. Sick tunes, dude. Sick tunes, my guy. High five. Oh, damn it. Thought I was going to high five it. I need to work on my drive-by high fives. So I need to curve because we're trying to go down here. We'll see if the dung eater has his sign down here. If not, we'll go to uh, the other locations real quick. That is just straight up regular water. Maybe it's here. Go here real quick. I'm pretty sure it's in that first area that we were in, but I think that we have to find him down in the sewers first. And he's like, oh. Come and meet me at the end. It's going down. All that shit. I want to check this little water pond down here real quick. And this guy. I feel like that guy is always like my judge on like if I can handle my own for a decent amount of part. I feel like he's a good amount of like dodging and evading and up close and far away it's like if you can hold up against him and never you're usually pretty good against like a lot of people and if you can get Malakath's death kitty you're good on most people you guys him and Melania they're both team like eat your life 
on top of like trying to kill you. <gasps> no, this feels like it's it, you guys. But I don't. Th I do think that we probably have to do part of his quest first in order to activate it. Because you would just see like a little red summon sign. Oh, that's just sun. I got really excited. I thought that was it. Just sunlight peeking through. Cute little crabs. Okay, so the other place is going to be down in the Mogwin Dynasty area. It's going to be for Vari's quest, and it's going to be for, uh, what's it called? Getting the bouquet as well. Let's go and check on that real quark. It's going to be down here. But we should probably actually go and talk to him him real quick. Because he's going to be there. Cave of Knowledge is way down. And there. Pretty sure. Do I get there? I have to tell him we're here and then make our way back down. Pretty sure at least. Pretty sure. So good, so tasty. Okay. Let's make you send a new path. So we're gonna go bop. And we wanna get to that, cause that's where I see your maiden lish is gonna be. Douchebag, you don't know my life. I might be celibate. <laughs> Sell butt of this ass. <laughs> oh, not off the edge. Just like that joke. Oh, if only I had a Ridge wallet. Oh, can you imagine? Sponsor Ridge wallet. I'm like, yeah, I'm not your average guy that just puts his money and cards in a bifold. What, what do you do with this? Fold in half? I ain't buy. Buying that. It's crazy. Like, I don't know. Limgrav. Ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Let's grab whatever the hell grace is here, and there's probably gonna be a sacred tier. Usually if you guys go to a church, there's gonna be a sacred tier. Oh, it's Kale! Oh my god! Hello, our sweet, beautiful Kale, you guys. Oh, we can level up this, though. What else are we trying to level up? Because that will get us blood loss and gives us the blood throwing. We'll have to play around with it before we do that first. But let's pick up the item. Let's talk to sweet Kale. Let's see what he's got to offer, guys. He might have some good stuff to sell. I am Kali. Kali. Um... Yeah, we'll buy that. Why not just take them off your hands? Yeah, partisan. Oh, we definitely want the spyglass from him. That would be nice to like check stuff out with. Goodbye. Bye, Kale. Bye, Kale. Bye, Kale. Goodbye. Okay, so we should be close. Oh, this guy. All right. He's like, what the hell? Oh, you got me with that one, Becky. He's so big. I think they make him like beefier than some of the other guys. Nice shot, buddy. Nice shot. That was sexy. That was right to my butt. <laughs> Shoot it to my butt for you. Oh, reflected it back. You sassy molassy. <clears throat> oh, they're just so cool. Oh, buddy. Oh, I wish I'd have got you a Deutsche Bubbles. I think we can get him probably with only bubbles, guys. There we go. Just 
just gotta give him to it. Uh oh, I asked for that one, guys. Uh oh, we're getting stuck on this tree. You guys, I don't want the tree to be what gets me. Freaking trees, environment. Oh. I learned, I learned, I learned. I learned. I learned. Buddy. Nuh uh. You're gonna eat these bubbles. Two of those in a row, my guy? Show me off some moves, like you're peacocking or something, baby. Like you're peacocking. Buddy. Uh uh. Swing and a miss with the bubbles, though, baby. Swing and a miss with the bubbles. I'm kind of losing on the bu bubble front. Ooh. We went straight through the bubbles, though. Oh, that's what you're trying to do. Now I see it. I'm getting the full picture now. Now I get it. Now I get it. <laughs> oh, that's going to get me. That's going to connect. Ooh. No trees. No trees, oh my god, no trees. We talked about this, no trees. Oh, I gotta remember that he does that weird move like that. Come at me, baby. Oh, I did not expect that one to hit. I thought I perfectly dodged that one, guys. Like, perfectly. But no. Game was like, not today. I want to get you with the bubbles, baby. Oh, no! Okay, I need to drink a health flask. Baby, eat the bubbles, please. I want you to eat the bubbles. Why you no eat the bubbles? Fine, we'll get you with the blood. Since you apparently don't want the bubbles. I just want to have fun and do the bubbles. You guys, come on. He doesn't know how to play. Let's go find Vare and tell him about how he can eat my butt. Maidenless, dude. Grow up. Okay, so he's going to be right there. So let's take off this one and this one, this one and this one. And let's head back down that way. You guys, I thought he was maybe going to get me that time. No joke, I thought he was going to get me that time. <laughs> but, nah, we got him. We're going to go talk to Vare up here. But we've already defeated Moog, so he might be kind of like, oh, he's on to his next area. That's okay. Let's get the grace here. And they'll tell us, I think it's to meet him at the palace. I think it's to meet him at the palace. Grab the grace. Find yourself, maidenless. Off to Laronia with you then. See you at the Rose Church, west of the gate town. Brava. So that means that he's gonna be at the Rose Church, which is right there. And if not, then he should have like a ah, another breadcrumb for you, maidenless mortal. Okay, so it should just be right there. All right, what's the safest way down from here? We can just go this way, guys. It won't be bad. I love this game, you guys. Like, often you, like, run through it, and you're just trying to go from point A to point B, Kill all the bad guys, try not to die, but like you guys, this game is so beautiful. What? Mm. 
Mm -mm. Don't want you messing up my groove. Okay, and I think he's usually out front, if I recall. Night, Becky. Back to the land of the Beckys with you. Good night. Yeah, he's usually up here. Ah, I see you're still a dickhead. Ah, there you are. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table home. What was your impression? That you're kind of creepy, you've got a lot of weird stuff on your face, and if you've seen the Tooth Fairy movie, you kind of look like the porcelain Tooth Fairy lady. They didn't seem right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Rambling. Rambling. Senile delusions. The two fingers were corrupted. Their guidance skewed. Even worse. The fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Super, super, super cool story, bro. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. I don't like it. It looks like forbidden shrimp. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? Mm -mm. And if it pleased you, may we meet again. Huh? Yeah, buddy. There's no room of tarnish. Be sure. I'm quite certain. Just make sure. Be sure. I'm quite certain. Okay. So you have export all of his dialogue. And then with it. I'm pretty sure that we can't use it because with the convergence mod, it doesn't let you invade other places. See, like, it doesn't even let us use it. So I think that we just have to now go to the Mog Dynasty, maybe? Because I've already defeated three people via the, um, what's it called? Volcano Manor quest line. During that quest line, and that we had to defeat three Tarnished. We didn't necessarily have to use a bloody finger to invade, if you will. Sorry. I'm trying to have it closer so I can talk to you guys, but then I'm also within scratching with my noggin distance. Be sure to try that. I'm quite certain. I can't use it, Bubby. <laughs> I thought that we had Grace closer. So let's go down to Mogwin Palish. Pretty sure the place I want to start off is like down here. So I'll have to go midpoint. Kind of make our way back down that way. Not that way. This way. Yeah, we want to get down there. Wait a minute. Oh, we have to go through this nonsense? Gross. Do we have souls that we can use? Oh, but we don't have a lot that we can lose. That's okay. That makes it a lot better. This place sucks. It's got a lot of those bloody appear out of the ground, guys. I'm just going to run through it. This guy's not worth the time. I hear you. Turn left. Run until you see daylight. Yeah, buddy, this kid, we made it out. Okay. So now that we're down here, 
We're gonna start making our way downtown. Past all the hug guys. Past the booger monster. Past all these guys. Pardon, pardon, pardon. Another great smithing stone. Awesome guy. Perfect. We did it, you guys. That was easy. Easy, easy, easy. Because I don't know if he knows that we've already defeated Mauve. <clears throat> I think he would just be... I think he, like, appears because he, like, is pissed that you, like, came here. Okay. Well, we got the grace down here. That's all that matters. Let's go back and double check with homeboy. Let's see if now that we've rested a grace if... Now he's okay with that. If he's kosher to help out now. Because you can do like seamless co-op. Where if you both. Both you and someone else have the convergence mod. And have seamless co-op. And it has to be set up a certain way. I've heard that sometimes it can be kind of tricky or kind of buggy. If you don't do it right. But when it's right it's so good. Um. You can't like summon golden boys, you can't summon invaders, you can't invade people. It's kind of crazy. Okay, church is there. I don't know if there's a grace here. No. Where's our blue dot, guys? I haven't gone to the church. Yes. Still on perfect. Okay. So Mad Baptist Rose Church. Be sure to try that. I'm quite certain. I did try it, ya buck crack. Okay, let's check the Discord really quick. His name's Vare. Go to the factor of various quests. <clears throat> to do various quests, you must progress to the point of where you have to invade three people to festering fingers. After this, go to the Ride the Blood Ruins in Altus and kill the NPC in the invasion. Sign or fail the invasion three times. After this, return to Vari and finish this quest. Okay, so we've been to Ride the Blood Ruins and that. Let's go back to the Alden, Alden wrongs. I'll talk to you in a minute, baby. We're going to go to the Ride Blood Ruins. And that was in... It was this. <clears throat> so we need to teleport here. I'm so surprised that there's not a grace at these places. And they make you run to Vare. Oh. They always make you chase after him. A little bugger. And I'm pretty sure we already defeated the NPC here. <clears throat> it says either defeat it or be defeated by it. And I'm pretty sure that this is where... Actually, I don't know, to be honest. I'm kind of going crazy at this point. Take 
got this with the crimson rolls. That back here. Okay, let's keep exploring the ruins. It says that there's an NPC invader. Oh, I got my butt sucked. Not by the poop monsters. That's not the way I want to go. Not the poop way. Please. Snatching my butt. Gross. Oh, the rot dog. No, Becky. Not when I'm trying to take these actual pieces of poop out. stairs but I feel like we haven't gotten invaded by an NPC up here right oh I asked for that guys I literally watched him like go to take a big old bite out of me there you go just step back a little bit I missed that first bite there we go oh, oh, oh. oh we found it you guys we found it Okay. Yep. So we have to either die to him three times or kill him. I don't want to attack him first if he's like... Maybe we should bow? Let's bow. And a good you'll be dead soon. And hopefully not me. Bubbles for the win, bubbles for the win. <clears throat> oh, good night, Becky. So that was not difficult. Magnus. All right, so now we can go back to what's his face. We got great stars. And a great somber stone, you guys. Ooh. Okay. So now that we go to shout. Getting khaki. Getting khaki. Oh. Especially when I do that kind of poopy stuff. Okay, let's get the bubbles. Bubbles. <clears throat> Run to the right, run to the left. Oh, you got me on that one, Bubby. <clears throat> but I got you twice, got you twice, I got you where it counts. Right in the booty. Okay. Let's take that off. We're gonna go back to Wazerface. One more time. You guys, I didn't expect us to be able to do the second list tonight. I'm only at three or almost four hours. That's crazy. That's crazy, you guys. Thank you for everybody that's been tuned on so far. You guys have been honestly the true Elden Lords out of everyone. I'm trying to make these guys Elden Lords, but you guys are the true Elden Lords. All right. Oh, how pretty. 
doesn't matter how many times I play this game, every time I look out at it, I'm just like, other than all of the absolute bullshit and all of the amenities I would miss, come on, come on, give me some real estate, please. Here, one light's still on. Let me know if that light turns off. I usually forget to check, but it turns off after a certain amount of time. I think it's like a few hours. But I'll just look back. I'm like, oh, yeah, we're heading to it. Instincts are kicking in right. They're kicking in good. How bad? <laughs> that was a good drive-by high five, guys. I usually don't hit those. Ah. Oh, you have kids. So please, you're here. I'm glad that you're enjoying Douchebag. my gift. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and a force. Love. Gross. So, <clears throat> what do you say, my lamp? All right, you guys, I'm pretty sure it goes without saying that if anyone comes up to you and just straight up Buffalo Bill looks you in the eyes and calls you lambkin, number one, number two, asks to make you a part of their dynasty, run, absolutely run. But in this case, we're going to have him anoint us. However, if you guys are sensitive to like finger stuff and that or whatever, he is technically taking your fingernail off of your finger. So if you don't want to watch something like that, definitely look away. It's not like it actually shows it, but like just just kind of as I love you guys. And so just just so you know, look away or turn the volume down for just a second. Three, two, one. Hmm. Yes. Who would have it any other way? Now take this. Okay, that's not bad. Lord Blood's favor. Mogwin's sensor, that's the weapon that we needed. For your final trial, soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. Okay, I appreciate everyone who had muted or went away if they wanted to not watch that, but I forgot. That's later. I thought he was going to do that now, but I just wanted you guys to know because I don't want you guys to get caught off guard by weird stuff if you guys are like sensitive to that. Just I want to try my very best to not cough in your guys' ears if I don't need to. Okay, so... He wants us to go soak our rag in the blood, and I think that we can do that at, uh, oh, I forget, I forget, I forget, I forget, I'm gonna look it up real quick. Vari's quest. Okay, we're going to do the return to anticip anticipation one. And that's going to be at the four belfries. So we're going to make our way that way. Bodemus. Smorgas.
absolutely dead. 100% dead. I knew it. I choked on that last corner. Lambkin. Ah, perfect. I was like, I want there to be a grace over here somewhere. Belfries, we want to go to the Church of Anticipation. Dope song, bro. Dope song. jellyfish shield let's grab that too real quick guys but we're not gonna harm any of these jellyfish even if they try to shoot us nice Who's my supervisor? Come at me, baby, come at me. Oh, swing and a miss. And he's gonna connect his hit, of course. I suck. Come on, guys, come on. a lot better with the trolls but I was being so boogers <laughs> well, I guess we can torrent <laughs> 
until the next troll pops up. Get rid of me. Oh, my butt crack. Are you kidding me? Still got you, baby. Still got you. Oh, them bookers. Return to the land of the Beckys. Good night, Becky. Okay. And I'm gonna double check, but I'm pretty sure that it's this first one. I'm pretty sure it's this first one. But I don't wanna waste you guys' time. Which of the four belfries in Elden Ring takes you to the Church of Anticipation? The second bell for you. So this is the first one. That's right we check. That's right we check. Make sure. So we got one. Fourth one's back there. So the second one. Okay. This one should take us there. And I'm pretty sure I have an imbued sword key already. Right meow. Right meow. Be as the buddies. the magic butt. Let me know if I need to adjust the volume at all, you guys. I'm always absolutely 100% down to do so. So I think we need to go this way, defeat the guy, and then there should be the maiden in here and we can soak the cloth in there. Make sure we have that one equipped. Yeah. I think that should be good, guys. I think that should be a good mix. I think it should be a good mix. Okay. Oh, nice evade, baby. Nice evade. Did you get that designer? Want some bubbles? He's gonna jump over these ones again. Oh no, 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 no. Not that one. I wanna get the drip going on our weapon. for that I saw him going for it and I was like my animation is gonna take too long for it let's do bubbles oh I asked for that guys was my deal basically being like hey come smack my booty real quick oh you're so tough baby I can see why you take us out in the first time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come at me. <laughs> Good night, Becky. <laughs> Good night, little Becky. Got ornamental straight sword, golden beast, crest shield. Okay. On. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to have the microphone closer so I can talk quieter since it's later at night. But, um, sorry, I, sometimes my big Elmer fun 
Fud Noggin <laughs> scratches the microphone. The microphone. Oh, oh, barf, you guys. That would have been so barfy. Because I didn't even get the freaking grace over at the four belfries. I'm crazy. What am I doing? Not even getting the grace over at the four belfries. Who am I? Can we can we torrent? We can't torrent. Somebody's got a firewall put up. Can't use lime wire or nothing. Just wanna torrent me a little opponent. A little horse. Give me a little horse. You don't start here in the convergence mod. You start right inside of there. Oh wait, it won't let you go back in? No way. There's gotta be like a side. Oh. I was like, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, we got Stormhawk King, you guys. Stormhawk King. Got a bird. Birds are the biggest douchebags in this game. <gasps> so cool. Then we can jump over and then open it this way. Yeah, guys, usually when you start the game, you start here normally. Like, everyone knows that. But in the Convergence mod, there is a glowing door here that when you pass through, depending on what class you pick for the Convergence mod, it starts you off in a different location. Our, we started off right... Where was it? Right by the artist shack. That's where our character started off. We stepped through the portal and we transported over here. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna dip this rag in her blood. Excuse me. Thank you very much. Gross. Then we're gonna open these doors. Beautimus. Okay, I just wanna make sure that we don't have anything up here that we could possibly grab while we're back up here. Because right now we're at this little little island. And you can actually see it when you're over at um, Storm uh, Stormbell Castle. You can actually see this place from over there. It's crazy. It's crazy how big and how small the map is at the same time. Okay. Because we're going to drink a flask. And I just want to see what happens when we go off this cliff if it just straight up kills us or if oh wait no I think it still kills us regardless we might as well try it you guys we might as well try it come on it's the convergence mod you never know it could maybe like turn your button to beefaroni it's America's favorite food from what I understand Yeah, I think it killed us. I think it killed us. Be crazy if we got like the opening cutscene all of a sudden. Oh wait. Oh, I thought it was gonna start us up at um, what's it called? On the moonlight altar. I was like, whoa, my gosh, oh gosh. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to go back to Vari. Let's go to Revengers Shack. I'm pretty sure this should get us closer to the ground also. I thought I saw something. You guys saw that, right? Looked like there was a little glowy thing over there. Let's grab our other dots. That way your sun doesn't get confuzzled. Perfect. That way I have one trajectory and I'm not going all over the place being super crazy like I do sometimes. Sit up. Not slouch. Cause I'm a slouchy boy. No, don't touch my bum. You're coming after my butt? After all we haven't been through? Spaghetti, pterodactyl, monster butt face? Ugh. You little tentacles. Night, Becky. You guys, 
when people can't handle the bubbles, they seriously cannot handle the bubbles. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Turned off my alert. Uh-oh. There we go. Turned off my alert. Is that like, that's way too bright now. That's way too bright. You guys probably can see into the universe now. I unplugged it. There we go. Maybe one more up. There we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good like that. I just want to be able to like talk to you guys if I like lean forward and talk to you guys since I'm trying to talk quiet right now. And I'm always trying to adjust with the volume. I was, I'm still learning, still trying to figure things out. But, uh, Rose. Rose butt. There we go. Torrent. Now that we got that little freaking chow main monster taken care of. Ah, I see you're back. I wasn't expecting that. But maidenless, I was definitely expecting. Ah, my lambkin. Gross. You Don't call me that. Your final trial. And with this, you are a formal inductee. A knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now... Okay, you guys, look away now. This is what I said. If you guys don't like the idea of like seeing fingernails getting like. Because if you want to see the cutscene, I want you to be able to see it. But if you don't want to see it and the idea of your fingernail getting pulled off, it's not super graphic. But if you guys don't like that, look away now. This is the actual time it's going to happen. Three, two, three, two. Clench your teeth or something. All right, you guys, it's safe to look back now. It's safe to look back. See, even like the picture shows like the bloody finger, like your fingernails ripped off. Never forget that feeling of agony. I ain't gonna. For it is what binds you to luminary mode, to all of us. <laughs> you have the sweetest scream, my lambkin. Seriously, top three grossest, scariest people in the entire world. I don't even know who the other two are. I just think they look exactly like you and probably have the same face. Oh, another thing. You should have this. The Pure Blood Knight's Metal. So that's going to be the next level up seal for your Blood Initiate build. That's going to give you the next scale up for your Sorcery Scaling or for your, like, Blood Flame Magic Scaling. A metal granted by the oh, wait. No, 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 no. That just gets you to Mogwin Dynasty, you guys. I lied. I lied. I'm a liar. Don't listen to me. I'm a liar. That seal is what you use to teleport you to Mogwin Dynasty, and then he gets mad at you. You mustn't use it just yet. You must wait. Until the Mogwin dynasty commences. Commences. Yet slumbers the sides of the dynasty. We must endure a little longer. India. Also, you guys, after he like did the finger thing, did you notice how he was all like, wasn't that beautiful? Like a, oh, pain is beautiful. Ah, it is one day, right, my lambkin? <laughs> okay, so we're going to use the seal. Even though he told us not to, because that's the whole point of his quest. And then I think we either see him later and he gets mad at us, or someone that dresses like him. We're going to use it right in front of him. He is not going to be happy about that. My lambkin, I'm here to spank your booty. Let's actually make sure we have Shangri Briars equipped, because I do like that for the beginning. Not 
not seeing him. Oh wait, no, he appears like over, over in here. Oh, we can't horse. Okay, guys, we got to get through the wow, 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 wow. You'll see what I mean. The little summoner guys, they summon these like guy skeletons that like either slam down on you, or they do the wow, 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 wow. Like I think we, oh, we got a slammer. Wow, 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 see? Oh, they can hit their selves? Just gonna stick him out. That guy over there. Wow, 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 wow. Great smithing stone, excellent. Okay, we have to be ready because I think that he appears either like somewhere in the water place. Gotta remember this place is pretty tough to do. I'm pretty good at like taking their poise if I take them on like one by one. I think he appears somewhere in the liquid. Yeah, it freaks me out because there's a lot of people over here. Should probably bring out <clears throat> this guy and let him have some fun. He hasn't been out in a minute. the bubbles. You took out my favorite Becky. You must all pay with the bubbles. The price of bubbles. You did good, Flo. You did really good. This is Bloodhound Flo. Didn't even have to name her. Fresh out the gate. Bloodhound Flo. Okay. We haven't seen Vari yet, but we haven't gotten Vari far either. I think we need to keep heading this way, yeah? Where's Flo at, you guys? Anyone seen Flo? There's Flo. Speak of the devil. There's one behind me. Flo attack. 
Cause you're gonna eat my baubles. Oh, you got me, baby. I think I ran out of stamina on that one. Still in the right direction. Catch the bubble. Oh, I meant to dodge through that, guys. That was bullshit. Let's keep making our way down this way. Because he's going to appear somewhere really inconvenient. Like, I think that's a bird. And I think that there's dogs in this area. Like, I'm fairly certain. There's no grace to be found anywhere. Stronger, I gotta remember that. Come at me, baby, come at me. Our lantern, what am I doing? What am I doing? Not having the lantern on, being crazy. Oh, we gotta get the chicken, guys. We gotta get the chicken. I don't want to get the chicken. out of range oh no way where are you Flo oh, he's stuck These guys are tough, tough cookies. Night, Becky. Taste the bubbles. <laughs> Taste the bubbles. Oh, another bird and dogs. I'm gonna take it out those dogs real quick. Let me see what's up. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Cause I got a bird over there. Gross. I haven't seen Var yet. Uh oh. Sounds like you went home, bye bye. So many dogs. <clears throat> oh, 
out of magic. To hit the bird. All right, Becky, you know who's next. Fearless, unlike me. Becky, nice, 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 nice. Not even, guys. Look at the Irish guys, I was out of stamina and everything. Uh oh, dead. Straight up dead. Night, Becky, good night. Oh. Even for us, like, beefy as we've gotten so far, those birds are still no freaking joke, you guys. Oh, we can get a gold seat up there. I'm gonna look on the Vari's quest line and just make sure that, like, I'm not missing anything. Golden seed, beautiful. Oh, another bird! No, 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 guys. No, no, no. And I don't even have a grace down here. No way. No way. No way. No earthly way. No, 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 no. Okay. We're not completely dead. What? No. What's his face has your attention right now, my guy? Oh, absolute bullshit. You guys, I'm going to definitely die here. No way. To this bird. We're out of health flasks after this one. Oh, you guys. 15 hundo. Where are we even at? Not where are we even at. We'll just have to run there. We don't have to do all those other guys first, but. I'm surprised that we didn't see him yet. Oh, I guess we should stop by the Rose Church first. <laughs> Since we're over here now. Oh, you guys, that was such bullshit. <laughs> the birds. Like, why would they make them so tanky and so barfy? And so gross. And so pustulatious. Oh. That's okay. We can take a little blissful, beautiful walk through the lake of Laernia. Right there. Go to this church real quick. Okay. See if Vari's there, loses his tits. Okay, so he's definitely. Oh wait, it's not the front. 
front of this bitch. We over here, guys. We over here. Okay, so he's definitely not there. So we can take Rose Church off of our little go-to list place. Let's go back down. Oh, no way, you guys. That's so crazy. I think that the... There's for sure, like, another grace, like, up on this kind of area and that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But, like, bizarre. Okay. Oh, we can't torrent. I forgot. We have to go past all the wow, 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 wows. Oh, oh no, guys. I don't like... The slam dunk space jam guys. And the wow 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 wows. Oh. Keep making our way this way, guys. They won't even know. Won't even know. Except for that one guy behind us to the left. Oh, no, that was slick, you guys. That was slick. I think he's gonna do one wow wow. Yep. See wow 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 wow. Okay, so now that we have that, let's put a marker on our souls. So I know exactly where to run. Freaking birds, you guys. Dogs and birds in this game, and they put all of them right next to each other. And anywhere that you think could possibly be a safe haven? Nah. Nah, dog. Okay, so we got our souls back. I'm just surprised that, like, Vari hasn't, like, popped up somewhere. Because I swear that there's a guy that invades you down here because he's, like, all like, You weren't supposed to come here. Me, 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 me. Oh, a shining relic remnant. That's a really good thing to know where to pick up, you guys. Oh, balls! Super balls. Because he can totally, 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 totally slam dunk catch you on torrent. I'm trying to think of where we need to go. I need to look at the map, but I don't want to look at the map. Great smithing stone. Awesome. Okay. I think we've evaded him for just a second. Okay. We're in a good spot. way just to make sure we're kind of like encapsulating the area that grace was I'm pretty sure if we curve up to the right yeah because I feel like at some point in time it kicks us off of our horse and I was like, uh, uh, uh. Pardon me, everybody. Everybody here is like hourly, I swear. My goodness, you guys. We want to climb up this way, I feel like. There we go, right? A rune arc, that's nice. It's not exactly what we want.
Okay, so we did make a complete circle. Oh, it kicked us off. Okay. How do you normally are up there? Because you don't have to, like, jump down and get through anything to get up there. One is like a teleport. It's like somewhere up over here. It's a teleport to like get up there. Okay, we should definitely spend our souls that we don't that way we don't lose them. Let's go do that real quick. Let's go do that real quick, guys. Do that real quick, Shorjipu. We can do another golden seed. You can carry another charge or flask, guys. Let's do allocate flasks. Let's definitely get some more magic. Like an even split. Okay. Level up. Let's put. Because we can get about two more. Well, that's for faith. We want to do it for dexterity. Let's get to 16. I think 16 was for one of our weapons. Equipment. So we can use that one effectively now, perfect. And we can use this effectively, beautiful. Awesome, we can use the Mogwin sensor. That causes a lot of blood buildup. Oh, ooh, nice, 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 nice. And the pedal whip, the pedal whip we need to have 20 dexterity. So we need four more in dexteratrix. Four more in the dexteratrix. Okay. I swear we didn't have to go up around the back side. I swear you can just like run up there. Alright, right, guys. One more time, you guys. One more time. So this is where that rune arc was. Is it like right here and I'm just missing it? No. Just want to make sure that there's not like another little path right there. Slam. Oh, so close, you guys. So close, buddy. So close to slamming my booty. like right there and then that's like the path that takes you up to the top part I swear yeah buddies yeah buddies boat a mess Vari's Questline Elden Ring. I love that those berries. I hear you, Becky. I heard him. Okay. Let's check it. Keep dying bars after his open portal's metal. Teleporting there, Caleb, where 
You can clash with Mog in a boss fight. The only way to access the area is through the portal. I guess it doesn't attack you. It doesn't at least look like it. And that, so. Let's take a look at our, let's take a look at our path note. Let's recenter ourselves, guys. All right. So right now we're currently working on the blood initiate path note. We've completed this, this, and this. We've completed all three of those notes so far. So we're going through on this one. We got the bloody Hylas from Ride the Ladrones. We've got the Reduvia. We've got the Surgeon's Catlinger. Margaret's, Cur Margaret's Curse Sword. Morgot. We can't get that until after defeating Morgot. And that's going to be a part of the boss run. And so I usually like to wait until the boss run video to do any of those kind of items. So we'll just have to wait it out on that one until that video. Which could very well be tomorrow if I get all this stuff done tonight. That's why I'm trying to like bust through it. So we have Reduvia, we have Surgeon's Catlinger, we have Bloody Hellas, we have Morgoth's Cursed Sword, we have Eleanor's Pole Blade, we have the Mogwin Sensor, Mogwin Sacred Spear, that we can get from purchasing from the one handmaiden lady. Sword of Milos, found on the corpse of the Dung Eater. Also, we have to go find the Dung Eater. Fari's bouquet found after the White Face Fari invasion. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how we get the White Fari face invasion going but my phone died my phone died so i can't look it up can't wait until it charges a little bit so i have to look it up on the computer so vari's bouquet not that bow cut I spell that. I might spell that right. B O U. Oh, it's just Q U E. Okay, 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 okay. And like all these 50 different letters onto it. Right before the dynasty mod is a million the Shigo the Mayas invading him and depleting his dialogue. Are we he's not there. Okay. Go back to it. Go back to it. Pop. The I just want to make sure that we're still doing good on volume, everything like that. Especially since my phone's off now and there whatever. It's like I can't monitor it. Like I'm used to, or see like how crazy bright that was. Never. I feel like that's a little bit better. Still working on the light. Got some hardcore microphone shadow going. All right. Okay. Back to it. So we need to find the Sword of Milos. That's going to be on the Dung Eater, so we have to find him down in the sewers. We can go and hang out in the sewers for a bit and try and find that guy. And then the bouquet after defeating Whiteface Vari. It says that it's supposed to be at that mausoleum midway point, but... And that's right there, guys. Oh wait, no, it said midway point. You guys, I think we found it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 We did it, guys. We did it. I don't like that it put us inside of the cave first. Barf. 
He knows his way around this cave way better than I. I don't like the bubbles. Oh, that was cool, buddy. That was cool. Poopy. Okay, but he's like right there, so we can invade him really quick. I want to get my phone back on so I can see. So I can see you guys. I feel like I'm cut off from you guys because I don't have two monitors, so I can't see anything else. Okay. My lambkin. Okay, I gotta remember that I have half of my flasks oh wait we have to fight him in here so bogus does he just charge at us now you speak violence heedless of my warning though you have been raised to a night of And he tries to hang out in it. He tries to hang out and camp out in it. I'm gonna switch to a different spell. The bubbles are not working for him very much. Magic, you don't got magic. Ah, bitch. No, uh-uh. Jump through it. Don't get me stuck behind there, baby. I'll be so pissed at you. Oh, no, 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 don't. Don't get me stuck in that. Oh, no, 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 no. No. You little dick. You thought. You thought for half a second, babe. You thought. Good 
night, Becky. Good night. Eat my dick. Yes. Got rune art, got gold pickle foot. Then we should be able to get his one thing here in just a lickety split second. Go on to this real quick, just so I can get the chat open back up. Beauta mess, smorges guys, smorges. Okay, can we talk to him now? Yeah, we gotta talk to the douchebag. Oh, you guys felt good, and we didn't summon, we didn't do flow or nothing. Um. My name is Lambkin, bitch. You promised. I have given everything. Please, please, my lord. It's actually kind of sad, but we already killed his boss. So. You dead, Becky. So we got a Festering Bloody Finger, and we got his flower bouquet, you guys. We got his little flower set. Oh, so let's just double check and make sure that was the one we needed to grab. Weapons for the Blood Initiate. Ferrari's bouquet. Bam! Let's add it to the list, guys. I'm going to spell that right. I can't ever spell right. B-A-R-R-E. Pulstrafix S. Okay. There goes our sword. Bam, you guys. So that means that we have to go buy Mogwin's Sacred Spear. But other than that, it's like we just have to go find Dung Eater down in the one thing and that kind of stuff and Relation. Beotomus. Beotomus, you guys. Beotomus. Okay. I think that really quick I am going to take a little break because the sewers is going to be pretty intense. I'm just going to take like a five minute break. I'm going to give you guys a little BRB screen. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Just make sure I'm good on water, all that kind of stuff. And I'll be back in two seconds. Love you guys. I'm going to give you a cute little BRB action, okay? A little ba 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 ba
All right, all right, all right, you guys. I am back. Thank you so much for your patience and for waiting with me. Hey, what's up? It's your boy. Yes, son. Thank you guys for watching the stream today. We're doing Mariana, Blood and Bubbles. She's the Abherent Heretic and the Blood Initiate combined with the Faint Dragonkin rune. That gave us the Bubble spell, which makes us Blood and Bubbles. It's for our Happily Elden After Run, and we're going to get back into it. Okay, so we need the Sword of Milos, so we're going to head to the sewers, guys. Head to the sewers. Oh, that guy didn't get us very many souls. What a booger. Are our souls, like, around here somewhere? Like, right there? What are they doing over there? What? Are they in here? There's got to be blood guys out right there why okay much beneficial much more beneficial okay so we need to go to altis and we're going to go into the sewers underground roadside i think this is it i believe so it should be in the subterranean underground yes buddies Yes, buddies. Buddies for life. Her cute little seaweed on her back. Controls the water. The closest thing I could get to a water build was going to be like the way that the blood looks for the Briars of Sin. And so I decided to do that plus bubbles so it kind of fit more of that like water like blood and bubbles. So we're going to test these out. Ladder move. I've used the ladder move before. Definitely, my fellow. Definitely. Okay. So we definitely want to make sure that we have this going off on these kind of guys. This is going to be a tough area. For sure. <laughs> Becky. Return to the land of the Beckys. Okay, so Bubbles is doing good. Let's do that. Let's drink a magic flask. Yeah, and you can eat my bubbles. Oh, that's a far reach, my guy. I didn't know that they could reach that far. We should definitely err on staying a lot closer for sure. Night, Becky. Good night. Okay. So there's always like a few different ways we can go. Oh, wait. I'm almost thinking before we do that, we should maybe go talk to him who gives you the key for it who gives you the key for the dung eater quest dung eater quest line elden ring that's so crazy that it's something that i even have to like say out loud into like a phone or something like that you know what i mean <laughs> Dung Eater Quest. 
One thing, one second, one second. Okay. I'm back, you guys. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I think that like to get to him it's like we just go down this one way and never but which is such a blase way to say it yeah how'd you go down there sewer gale key was head north and north near the straight part of the city beyond the wall of the dragon the wall broke up by time Okay, I'm pretty sure we have a seed bed curse. So it does say that we need to go and take it to what's his face first. So let's go back to. Go back to. I think he's up here. It's gonna be back over. No, it's with. Uh, Okay, so now we have the key. Now we have the key. Okay. So now that we have that, go back down there, underground roadside, and then we're just going to run to this place. Not gonna mess with none of that. We're gonna go. the rat way. Never the rat way. Oh, you poopy. So it does not like frost, that's good to know. Some more bubbles. Nice. Nice. That's 
not what I meant to do. Another Skywalker. I think some of my bubbles will get caught. Definitely. And there's definitely going to be some <clears throat> hand guys up there. you guys so the dung gator should be in this area oh we should probably turn on oh we can't turn on a lantern yet there's gonna be some little speeders right there No way. Now, we should have just sent the bubbles. Screw it, we're just gonna send bubbles. We got bubbles for the win. <laughs> Buddy. Later, Gail. I've been here long enough. I'll wink you again. And the fire eats corpse with care. Just to be sure that when they're inborn, they'll be cursed. What a douche. Along with their children and their children's children. Sounds like someone who eats a lot of shit and bangs their head against a wall. Am I right? Am I right, buddy? Yeah, I'm right. I know I'm right. Okay. I'm gonna grab this real quick. Great somber stone. Taking it. I'll wink you again. Just to be sure he'll be cool. Just make sure. Just to be he'll be cool. And now we should be able to go back to here and then travel down here. We're going to get all of our dots back in a row just so I don't get confused. Okay. Go back with a brand new track. Now for real, for real. It's so funny that it can't summon it on grace
could be this one. Oh, that'd have been the best high five ever. jump. I haven't seen this thing yet. At least not down in this part. Let's go check up on the other side real quick. Yeah. I think we can get there faster from here. That's right, that's right, that's right. This way, this way, this way. Not what I want to go to. Wait. Maybe. <gasps> not that though. <laughs> not that. That's not where I wanted to go. Oh no. I'm gonna say yes. I think it's gonna put us down here. base yeah, I think it put us at the base and their souls are gonna be up there which is fine but at least we can explore down here while we're down here oh here we go I definitely bring out flow oh because of that Good night, Becky. Good night. High five, baby. High five. Okay, so we got him. Yes, you guys. Oh, stupid bug. Attack. Attack. I gotta do the thing. Stupid bugs. Okay, well they can attack me. I gotta put in the chat real quick. You guys, we got the sword of Milos. Okay, so let's go through the list, you guys, because I think that that means that we got everything on our list officially. I 
know, right? I know, I know. I know, I know, baby, I know. You're dead, Becky. It knows it. Oh, I've never wanted to kill a bug so bad in my life. Oh, okay, so that one's dead. How is it that I can do all these other things, but uh, something as simple as like a bug? Oh, I thought I could dodge it towards it. Okay, you guys, okay, so let's look at our list. Oh wait, let's go somewhere. Oh, he even came right at me. Okay. Oh, all right. Now that we sanctified this place, I'm pretty sure. Let's check our list. Because I think we just got everything on the list. Except for Margit. And there, we're Margit's Cursed Sword. So we have Reduva's Blade. Check. Surgeon's Catlinger. Check. Bloody Hellas. Check. Eleonora's Pole Blade. Check. Margit's Cursed Sword. We have to wait until the boss run. I like to keep all of the boss uh, battles in one go. Or whatever in one video. So we'll have to put a hold on that one. We have the Mog Wind Sensor. We have the Sacred... Oh, we have to go buy the Sacred Spear real quick. We have the Sword of Milos. Fire's okay. Yeah. Let's go buy the... Let's go buy the Spear real quick. Oh, look at that. She's even got blood on her eyes, I think. Oh. I take a screenshot of that, you guys. I've got to find somewhere like a rock to like... Because I think she's literally got blood on her freaking eyes you guys I need something that can give me these rocks maybe look at that you guys her eyes are blood red blood red what the blood has overtaken her you guys no longer bubbles See if we can get a better angle over here for more of a full. Oh, there! All of these rocks are too short. I almost want to go. Oh, but if we if we teleport or anything like that, it'll take us to. This might be like our only rock, you guys. Like, what is actually happening right now? We gotta get a little clip of it. Look at how her eyes are actually red. Maybe if I crouch. Oh, even better. Look at that. What? Is it because, like, we just barely defeated what's-his-face? Crazy, you guys. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay. Let's go grab our souls real quick. Real quick, let's go grab our souls. We can torrent, I believe. Yes, buddies. I'm gonna get our other sister out. That there, guys. Costs a lot and isn't nearly as cool as our sister. Flo might be cool, but nothing beats our sister. Joke. Large somber stone six. Okay. So we need to go back to the round table hold. Go talk to the two fingers. The two fingers.
Moglin Sacred Spear, you guys. Bam. Bam. Put it on the list. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna definitely have to look it up. Go for I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate the way she talks. It's like a bad Eartha Kit impersonation. It drives me so nuts. But I love this game, but stuff like that drives me nuts. Okay. Moglin. I'm trying to look at how to spell that. We could end up potentially using that if we get strong enough. 18 strength, that's not bad. That's like 8 away. Requires a lot of faith, though, to use a lot of faith. It would be like a trident, kind of like how with the freaking um, mermaid and that kind of stuff. I know it's on the nose, but that's kind of fun for me. I don't know. You still need to get it up to 20 for this guy for dexterity. But we're trying to spell Moglin. That's right for the chat. That way we can keep it timely. Where is it? It was just on here. You guys are like it's the one that looks like a fork. Moglin. There we go. So we got Am. Excellent work. O H G W. O H G W Y N. Apostrophix X. Moglin Sacred Spear. Not red spear. Bam, 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 bam. You guys, we did it. We collected all of the runes. We collected all of the runes for um the, sorry, Apparent Heretic as well as the Blood Initiate. We collected all of the weapons for the Apparent Heretic and the Blood Initiate. And all of the armor sets, except for anything excluding a boss fight, where we have to complete a boss to get it. So there's like one armor set and one weapon but I think that's it but we've completed everything else so I'm going to literally put some fireworks and then I'm going to put what's it called double candles all blood all blood initiate weapons <laughs> collected Bam! Bam, you guys! Bam, 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 bam! Do another fireworks and then do all path notes completed. You guys. What? That was awesome, you guys. I was not thinking that we were going to be streaming nearly as long as we did today. We did good, you guys. Got all the weapons. We got all the runes. We got all the armor. And that means that we have boss run in our next video. But you guys. <gasps> her eyes still red? Oh my gosh, you guys. They're totally still red. I wonder if it's because of the madness. Oh, she's totally got the blood eyes. So if you go back where he is, do you think his fit's going to be there? Sorry about your books, buddy. No? Still there. There you are. Here I am. Rewarded off my blessing. Despite the curse still remaining in you. No one has succeeded in that before. How? I thought. Then it hit me that you are, in fact, me. Uh oh. And I am the Dom Deidre, who 
is my flesh. You must receive the blessing. Gross. Give me your blessing. Defile my flesh again. And let it in the curse bring down the sight of kill. And soon the hundreds will be reborn to feel the wrong souls. Lord Cole. Give it your blessing. Let it in the curse. Oh, now we have to go back down. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. We go to underground roadside. No, we'll make our way back down to that guy. Sure, just doesn't blow you in the face. Cause when they blow you in the face, it ain't nice. Okay, we should be able to skirt this way, miss all of them, and give him. You say bad curse. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Sounds like a good time. go back back this time will it be dead let's check i thought we were gonna have to go and explore the entire sewer you guys i'm so excited that we don't have to the sewer is an absolute maze bye bye very nice Night, Becky. We got the Omen Helm, the Omen Armor, the Omen Gauntlets, the Omen Grief. Bam! Alright, you guys. I'm thinking that that's going to be a good place for us to stop the stream for the night. We've collected everything on the runes. I'm also getting very, very, very sleepy. It is 1 o'clock in the morning where I am. Thank you for everyone that has been watching so far. I'm going to go here real quick while we do the outro. Thank you so much for everybody that decided to tune in today. Thank you for giving me a little bit of your time. That was very kind and very gracious of you guys to watch me play the Happily Elden Afters and be able to get my Happily Ever After fantasy out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you guys tuning in and being able to like give me those silly views, you know what I mean? But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, just, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for tuning in for... 
the Mariana blood and bubbles. She's officially got the blood in her eyes. Blood along with her bubbles. Thank you guys so much. Also, huge shout out to our latest subscriber. We got a new subscriber on our video and there. It was, I looked it up afterwards on our break. It was Lo Thomas and there. Like T H O M. T H O M A S. Yep. L O T H O M A S. Lo Thomas. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the Polite Shade Kingdom. We're glad to have you. Thank you so much. And we will be seeing you in the next live stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in tonight. Sorry, guys, I'm getting really sleepy and I'm trying to keep like a really coherent outro, but Mariana, Blood and Bubbles. I'll see you guys in the next live stream for our boss run. I can't believe we're going to do a boss run already for Mariana. <gasps> do a little tab out, give you guys a little bit of a outro screen and give you a little.